Hello, my name is Ian Schilling. I am the Knicks PR rep. I would like to read a statement and then open the floor to questions. Uh, there are dozens of security staff, employees, and NYPD that witness Oakley's abusive behavior. It started when he entered the building and continued until he was arrested and left the building. Every single statement we have received is consistent in describing his actions. Everything he has said since the incident is pure fiction. I will now turn the floor over to Knicks owner, James Dolan. Uh, more dairy. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Ian. I appreciate you shilling. Uh, questions? Any questions? Sirs? Sir, you in front here? What? What? what that... Why did you throw out Charles Oakley? Uh, clearly, you saw the footage. Uh, he came in the arena very aggressively, saying that he does not fuck with my band, JD and the Straight Shot, which is a fire band. Should have won many Grammys already. I don't see... Uh, what's happening uh, with the oversight in the Grammy committee? Uh, but that's another day for that's another story for another day. Uh, what happened is that Charles Oakley, better known to Knicks fans as the Oak Man, uh, better known to me as an aggressive uh, bad dude, as the president would say, he came into the garden very aggressively, saying, "James Dolan, I'm going to fuck you up, nigga. Get over here. I'm going to crush your ribs." He said that to me, Are you sure? and that's why he was yes. That's what he said to me, and that's why he was thrown out. Also, he was attempting to smoke hookah in the VIP section. That's not allowed. We are not allowed. This is a non-smoking. You can only vape like me. We okay? S- we saw the tape. There's, there's, there's no, uh, there's absolutely no there's tape. There's no hookah on tape. There's, there's a hookah clearly delineated. I'll show you the video, unless you have news from a fake news organization. Okay? I don't even want to talk about this anymore. Oakley's very aggressive. He tried to, he tried to hurt me. Okay? He's mad because he's a broke boy. He owes Jordan 50K. I've seen the nigga. We was in Vegas. Okay? He, he had the hot hand in the dice game, and then he, he went and then he went down. He tried to get out. He, he tried to be a hot boy at the blackjack table, and then nigga, he took an L, okay? That's why he was coming for me. I'm up 100 million, baby. What's good? Mike, holla at me. I'm in Vegas next week. By the way, I hope you niggas are attending Liberty Games. Huh? I better see you there. Zeke, holla. Let's go. Do the fucking drop. Fuck the Knicks. Live from Red Bull Studios, New York. That's some shit Jay Dolan would really say. Yo. He's, Yo. Aggressive. He's aggressively anti Knicks. Live from Red Bull Studios, <laughs> episode 55. That's right. That's right. It's the <laughs> Bodega Boys in the building. <laughs> Live from the Octagon. That's right. We're in the Snowy night. day, nasty outside. <laughs> Got those big gray puddles that don't tell you about when you see on the internet how beautiful New York is when yeah. it freshly snow- snows. Today is the second day. Yep. All the snow is yellow mm-hmm. and gray and disgusting. You don't know how deep puddles are. All right. You step in them and mm-hmm. it's just an abyss. You could go mm-hmm. knee deep into the shit you don't even know. I lost a loved one to a puddle you know what on I'm saying? Uh, 58th of Madison. Yeah, he's probably, he's probably still there. You know what I'm saying? Floating around. Rest in peace on Patricia. Yo, Yo it's your boy, yeah. Jesus Nights, nice, a.k.a. Jesus Rice, nice, a.k.a. Young Chipotle, Pakistan yeah. Fat Light Terrier, yeah. Chris Stafford, yeah. Slink, Dick, mm-hmm. Eli Lippy, Butcher Butcher Gully, Slope I Might Know Your Bitch, Young Day Party, Young Hot Take, DJ Fuengo, Mr. Nando's Lorando, Mio Novo Zeta Novo Zeta Equato, Mikel going off the Juve boss, MC Lico Gunga. P. Put it up for 40 with your shorty. Hey, hey, don't talk to me in the Uber pool. I don't know your name. I don't know you. I don't know. Are we back on Uber? Are we... I feel like we're back on Uber. They they ch- yeah. they came about on their ways. Yeah. Also, Lyft is mad weird. Their yeah. app is like, I don't know. It's a little shady. I feel like they're trying to steal my social security number. That's another story for another day. The original one plus one yeah. got a plus one, so don't make a fuss one. No. This is Rossi the Jamaican Jew. Please yeah. come to my son's bar mitzvah yeah, at nice. Mingus. Jermaine yeah, Avocado Toast. Young Pa. The ghost of Mufasa. I am the king, nigga. <laughs> Young Jack Coonery without the Coonery. A.K. Chili the Mon, left handed reliever for the Yankees. Game oh my okay. God. Oh my God. Vice Game Akuzaka. Two phone gels. Mm-hmm. This is Et Machina. Jay Chuckles. Stanley Cups. The Human Dr. Bonner's label. Dilute, dilute, dilute. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio. Mr. 240p, because I like my Pinot blurry, because I'm nasty. I can't even tell if that's Disgusting. just glitch or is that like oh my God. actual. Po- uh, you is know, pubic hair and shit. Shout out to Obsession. DJ Light. <laughs> you're listening to Watch FM. The Curry Go. DJ Spicer. Damn. Jamal Hashburn. Yeah. The Black Asiatic Addict who crack your back like an automatic craftmatic. Oh. Mr. La Marina, Miss Marina with a fresh misdemeanor and a cold demeanor. Goddamn. Okay. Your problematic babe. Whoa, your boy. 
That's right. We here. It's the double nickel. You know what it is. The human do right flap. You know what I'm saying? A.K.A. Curve Gotti. A.K.A. Triz Khalifa. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Skip loader. You know what I'm saying? I know fucking baby. I fucking man. You know what I'm saying? No. Check the guest list again, nigga. And no, I'm not stepping to the side while you do that. My name is definitely on there. It's a capital letter, nigga. Just like my motherfucking tweets. D -d -d Dad of the year, you know what I'm saying? Ben Smack me up, feel the ass. Tyson, the Dominican Don Dada. Ben Boston, with the precision of a Swiss wristwatch. I'll replace the nipples on your woman and put them on a goat. I'll open your master cabinet, so replace your benzo diapazines. Nigga, put them somewhere else, because I'm going to eat them all. Because I'm the Zen, man. It's going to matter what we eat. You know what I'm saying? Rico Sabroso, baby Newport, Nino Brown. You know what I'm saying? East Street by Stevie B. The plantain supernova in the sky. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? At the garden, nigga. Embarrassed of my franchise, but you know who it is, nigga. Barbellos Anthony. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you see me at Target, nigga, respect my agency. I'm supposed to be like an Earthside mammal, nigga, because I might bite. You know what I'm saying? Tatu Sabah look at Jago Papi. At least they take their feet from a hado caro. You know what I'm saying? We out here. Catch me in the cabana, nigga, with my dick out. You know what I'm saying? Woo! 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 He's trying to get some beers like Steve Austin. He's like, man, am. Yeah! Yo, shout out to Alice. We just saw outside. Yeah, shout out to Alice. Yo, she made the day. Yo, she jumped over the wild snow drift. She was like, yo, you guys are great. And then she pressed the L with us on the way to work. I hope we didn't just put her on blast. You know what I'm saying? She was in the office like, shh. They're like, Alice, we're gonna need your urine. <laughs> Yo, your boss just can't ask for urine. That, uh, you gotta have a relationship. There's one violation. Like, yeah. I mean, it's Trump's America, so he might. Yeah. yeah. He might have signed an executive like, order. Go pee in my mouth. Yeah. Like, no, that's not a drug test, sir. That's just some yeah. Fifty Shades of Grey yeah. shit. Trump yeah, signed nasty it. nigga. He did it. Nigga signed an executive piss order. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Donald Trump. Piss on me. Piss on my facial. Just piss in my mouth. It's <laughs> sterile. It's nasty, but it's cool. I'm going to blow bubbles in it like a goldfish. Yo, Ugh. Yo man. What's going on with America? Yo, this week has been draining. It and now also, because, like, doing the show, just yo. living in America. Yo, it's crazy. And Donald Trump just tweeting about shit, making executive orders. America celebrated yesterday that, like, the court worked. <sighs> America, for the first time, felt like black people, when people get shot, and the cop, and you're like, yo, the cop's going to get off, and the cop, for, like, once... <laughs> Guess we're like, like whoa, whoa shit, the justice. Jail? Like real jail? Wow. What? Woo, I did not like, see that bars coming. Like shit? That's wild. Yo. And the court was like, nah, get your little broke boy Muslim ban out of here. <laughs> Yo, your man Trump really went on Twitter to say to a judge, I'll see you in court. I'll see you in court. <laughs> I'll see you in court. court. He was like, I am court. <laughs> He's like, I am, I am court right now. Fuck out of here. It's like, yo, come on. Yo. That's like, that was that, I, I was told by Apple King. Like, I was told by the court. <laughs> <laughs> and I can do what I want. I'll see you in court, nigga. Oh, yo, Donald Trump. It's wild. It's been, and it's not stop. Every day, something Every day, something else. Yeah, it's wild. He, you know, he's old. He's bored. America is fucking bugging. I mean... You know, we're just trying to survive out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everything is going going wild. The Massacre Garden disrespecting Charles Oakley. Yo, that was... That, that was, was unnecessary, but the Garden was... has a history of disrespecting yeah, legends. Yeah. We see what they uh, did to Patrick uh, Ewing. Like, I feel like that's how you know we're actual real Knicks fans, because we are aware of the fact that the Knicks organization has been terrible for mad long, and they hate their players. You know what I'm saying? Like, they yeah. hate their legendary players. Like It's like they have yo. some sort of grudge. Against, like, you played here, so we hate you forever. Yo, like, why the would you want... Yo, here. niggas based the farm offer and moved to China and Vaseline. The only like, people they that cook was Allen Houston yeah. and John Starks. That's it. And... Uh, Hmm. What happened to Herb like, Williams? What happened yeah. to Herb Williams? He was cooking for mad years. And then, and then he just poof, he disappeared him. Disappeared him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got him locked in the basement of MSG. Yo. Making little bell steak sandwiches. <laughs> making a little dipping sauce. Right there, like, like, uh, oh. He's like, let me free. Please. Come on. <laughs> I was a power forward. At least let me switch my polo off. <laughs> Yo. Oh, it's not funny. Nothing in life is funny. Poor Herb. Everything the Knicks are a fucking disaster. Me, I thought they were like finally on the right track. Yo, Phil is a I fucking mean, worm. Let's be honest. Did are we... you are you anti Phil now? Like, are you against Phil? I'm like, I'm not banging with Phil no more. I'm so apathetic. I don't care. I have, <laughs> I'm not. I just watch. I don't like. I have no strong feelings. I just watch Nick games. Yeah. I, I'm no longer passively. This is a it is a dead relationship. Shout it out is to a you. dead relationship. I'm trapped in it. Like I I see other people. I watch people watch Warriors games, and I was like. Wow, what's that what does like? that feel like? Yo. What's that life like? Like, I got to go back to, like, 2012 when you know the Knicks what I'm were, like, good. Got, they exactly. had, like, 55 wins and that shit. That was when I got my heart broke. Yeah. And it's, again, again, I keep letting <sighs> the Knicks do this to me, so now I just watch it, and it's just like... Fam, it was my birthday party when they lost. When, he, when Melo got blocked by Roy yeah. Hibbert, it was my birthday. I was watching that in a <sighs> uh, bar in Cleveland. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, fam. <laughs> 
I'm mad high, mad drunk and shit. I went upstairs like, yeah, Nick's about to crush these niggas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. And they got smoked. I was like, yo. See? This can't be life. But then I was like, oh, this is Nick's, this is Nick's fandom in a nutshell. Like, it is, but you know, now you get, like, I just don't care highs. no more. I don't care. It's, yeah. it's like a little relationship with uh, you're your girl. And the dragon. Your like, girl, you're just, your girl just fed up with your shit. And she's just like, I don't care. <laughs> and she just say it like, just like that. Amato, like, I don't care. I don't like, care. She walks in. You text this some other hoe. You like, put the phone. And she's like, I just, I, I don't, don't care. care nigga. She's like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm here because my name is on the lease, dog. I, I don't care. Like, listen, we got a kid together. <laughs> It is what it is. Yeah, fuck you know what I'm saying? Face. Like, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm gonna bring my dates here. They're gonna wait on the couch. It's gonna be weird, yeah. but I don't care. Like, I checked out this shit. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't get I can't get fired up about Phil Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Listen, it, there's something about the Knicks logo. If the Knicks were good, I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> I noticed that I have like mad memes and JPEGs and shit on deck for when the Sad Knicks lose. Knicks, yeah. I have no, I have no nothing happy. to tweet out for when the Knicks win because it doesn't happen yeah, enough. It's wild. But when it does happen, it's like by the skin of their teeth. Yo, it's wild. I got the, the crying like, seal. I got the fucking crying Jordan putting the fork into the thing. I got so many sad Knicks. The Knicks are representative of the black experience in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Even when you almost win, you lose. You lose. <laughs> you lose. We've never learned. You know yeah. why? Because they stay woke. Damn. All right? The transatlantic slave my thing. Oh, it's always at the bottom of the Atlantic Division. No. Wait, wait. Take one step further. What? It was a triangle. triangle. Oh, oh, shit. shit. Mine's explode. Yo. Okay. Yo, Phil, get out of here with your yoga. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, get somebody in there. Who could be in there? Who could go in there? Who's a good GM? I don't even know. Whoopi Goldberg was really good. <laughs> I, I would dead ass take Whoopi yeah. right now. Over Whoopi Phil Goldberg. Jackson. What I'm movie not was playing. that? Eddie. And people were like, "What's Eddie?" Eddie. Yeah. Eddie. Eddie. And then they it? had the Matt Fugaze players and shit with the fake. Like, I was gonna say yeah. we should do a remake, but you know what? We're gonna stop saying we're gonna make remakes of old shit because these motherfuckers would just swoop through, swoop down and take ninety percent yeah. of it, and Fuck we get like ten percent. Not gonna hit us with the Peter Guns and Lord Tariq shit. Nah. Which was so disrespectful. You know Just man? one of the greatest songs in Bronx history. Oh, man. And George Steinberg was they like, deserve to be nah, y'all niggas that. can't, y'all niggas can't nah, record your video that. here. They had to record it in what was Shea Shea Stadium. Stadium at the time. And who owned that sample? Black Milk or something? Uh, Steely Dan. Steely Dan Steely owned Dan. that sample. Steely Dan body. Steely Dan like, was like, oh, y'all, y'all made a little regional hit with this shit? Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. Nigga said, I want those rights, nigga. I, I want all of those. <laughs> I want all of, they took all of them. Yeah. Their next video was We Will Born. They had to shoot it at like Pelham Bay Park. Yeah, man. Sad. Yo, and it's crazy because off that song, they deserve to be rich. That's they a, do. Like, that's an iconic song. Dude. Like, the niggas that did Macarena is probably rich off Macarena, right? Am I bugging? I'm going to say that. Yeah, the Catch Up Boys or whatever. Yeah. Venga Boys. The, yeah. Whatever. Well, whatever. They, yeah, imagine matter. if Peter Guns and Lord Tariq... <laughs> If they own the rights to that, Woo, you know, because we, we play that song. Don't they? I think Peter Guns would not be all over hip hop. He might have twenty all. kids though. Yeah, he don't do your kids. <laughs> Can you do your kids? He would. You be the first person to do your kids. <laughs> yeah, because they play that song at Don Coquie when they bring out like bottles for your birthday. Yo, yo, but Don Coquie, you don't know if it's the actual salsa version, the Jenny Hermano like, shit, or the fucking. You might be that one. It might be the fucking Shakira, Shakira <laughs> one. Like you don't. You just sitting there like, oh, yo, let me wait. Let's we'll see what it is. Yeah, you're rolling them dice. <laughs> <laughs> the Shakira would be blowing my heart. I'd be like, oh, uh, all right, this is cool. <laughs> this ain't Shakira got songs, and yeah, like, you yeah. don't realize you know these Shakira oh, songs, yeah. and you be like, yo, yo, she's one of those people, man. Like, she fucking, wolf? yeah, like I don't know. You know, yo, she got joints that you just hear while you like in the mall. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or like just fucking walking down like in any type of shopping environment. Niggas got the Shakira on decky. You know what I'm saying? I'm at the mall, you know what I'm saying, while smirret at Cinnabon, and I'm just hearing Shakira in my ears. Wow, I'm fucking, shout to Skittles, yo. Skittles, shout to Skittles. That Skittles gelato. Oh, that. Mash up. Yeah. Cool. For the weed. Yeah. How much do you think J-Lo's net worth is? <sighs> uh, 85 mil? How much do you say? Three hundred million dollars. <laughs> Yo, are you fucking kidding me? Yes. Three hundred million? Yes. Yo, what? Yes. Yo. Somebody told me that on Twitter yesterday. I was like, get the fuck. Get the fuck, fuck out of here, here, my yeah, guy. Yo. She is worth three hundred million. million. Well, it makes oh, sense. you know what it is? She got the Latin market too. Yeah, you know what she saying? had like remember she had like Verizon yeah, ads and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know she's, what I'm getting, saying? she's getting worldwide money. You know what I'm saying? That's why Pitbull started saying mad shit in Spanish, because niggas like, let me get that South like, American money. <laughs> That's what you need to do, dog. <laughs> Yo, man, why are you, like, listen, we gotta start recording the Bodega Boys in Spanish. <laughs> Los Boys de Bodega. Papi, estamos aquí en vivo, de, directo desde Red Bull Studios. Uh, beep, beep, beep. Yo, um, 
Three hundred fucking million dollars. What would you God do with three hundred million dollars? <sighs> wow. That's she what, could that's just chill. What yeah. she don't even gotta do nothing. Yo, that's what I understand. People that become like honestly, like I understand like if you're a creative, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? If you're an artist and you want to just continue to Are you saying to, JLo's not an artist? No, that's what I'm saying. Like she that if she considers herself a creative, mm-hmm. then I understand like wanting to keep going and keep going. But yo, you worth three hundred M's, nigga. I'm buying a, like I'm buying a large piece of an island and just chilling there. Like a smoking wild bud, like and swimming naked. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't understand why niggas want to be working. I kinda get it. I feel like it becomes a challenge. She's probably in her head, like, if I made 300 mil, why can't I make 600 mil? Huh? You know what I'm saying? Why yeah. stop now? Like, yeah. you're not going to make, you know, knock on wood. <laughs> you make your first mil, you're going to be like, yo, I'm good? No. no hell no, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. To me, like, like there's a, to me, 250 million, if I got, if I'm at 250 million, I'm good. I'm like, I'm good. Because my kids, 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 kids are good. Like, off of two hundred and fifty million. If you invest correctly and you and you do shit the right way, like I'm who, who the f- you, you, you the Dominican Suze Oisman? No, no, no. I'm got, just saying, like you, you, you got you got investments on Jackie. <laughs> just to go put in all the well, platinos, platinos as a shipping company. Well, <laughs> let's talk about invest it. Invest in white jeans. <laughs> Holler at me on C-SPAN at ten a.m. <laughs> Yo, but now, nah, um, oh, oh, MSNBC. Hi, Kid Miro. Uh, I have some. I have a financial question. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I was thinking about buying. I was gonna buy four hoverboards for my boyfriend. Okay. He's starting a hoverboard band. All right. Um, I'm. I make thirty thousand dollars a year. Okay. My rent is two thousand dollars a month. Okay. I live with five roommates. Uh, can I do this? Yeah, so what you want to do is you want to take those four hoverboards, right? Mm-hmm. You want to boost them. Then yeah. you want to sell them back to the store. And with that money, mm-hmm. cop a quarter brick. Okay. After you cop a quarter brick, mm-hmm. break it down into dimes. Okay. Cook some of it up. You All know right. what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Monica Moreno. Uh, right. Le gusta cocinar o no cocinar. Uh, right. oh, okay. And uh, okay. uh, then you flip it and uh, come back to me and holler. Okay, thank you. Yeah, That's you got very it. very helpful. Thank you, no problem. Also. also, mutual funds. Oh, thanks. It's late. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> the one fucking cop a quarter brick. Yo, I'm talking about MSNBC, you see, telling niggas a cop a brick. You just got the wild butt, like, cop a brick, cop a brick, cop a brick. They're like, uh, all his financial advice involves drugs. Yo, uh, we got uh, Jesus live from 140th Land of Them Oyes. How's it looking out there, Jesus? Hey, hey, guy, how's it going, guys? Yeah. I'm just here, I'm just reading the reports. So, uh, right now, Coke is trending upwards. Okay, the nice. The price has been going up since the roof, you know, because Donald Trump with the police laws. Right, right. Sad to say, meth is surprisingly down. Oh, meth my. Surprisingly down. Uh, weed is, uh, you know, weed is mellowing out. <laughs> Always steady. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, we see PCP is going up and down erratically. Okay, but okay. To be expected. Well, you know what the people really want to know? What's up with the dog food? Okay, well, the dog food, as always, is a tried and true, steady commodity. Uh, Beautiful. You want to invest in it. A lot of pensioners in England like to invest in it. Dog food is <laughs> pretty steady at 60%. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to go to commercial. Uh, suck my dick from that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yo, damn! Now we gotta become the fucking heads of a network now. Yeah, we got damn, to. That sucks. We, listen, we do the drug report. <laughs> Wait till people have to go like before you call your weed dealer. Shit, you gotta tune in to our channel. We're like, and watch the ticker and shit. The, like, what's 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 going mm, right? Mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Hello, uh, uh, yeah, Larry. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah. You were talking that dr- uh, that drought shit. <laughs> And uh, I'm seeing on TV, there's no droughts anywhere. We have, like, the fucking weather map and shit. We're like, lots of weed coming in from the Mexican cartel over here on the left coast. Over here on Florida, guess what? Finally, the weed come around. We see lots of shipments coming up from Jamaica, so the price should be bottoming out. Look out in Minnesota, where apparently because of the snowstorm, brrr, getting quality weed is extremely hard. <laughs> And people were just like, yes. 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 Thank you. This is the news yo, I need. They call their man. I'm like, yo, what's up with the 0.7 dimes? Like, I'm shit is whack. No, 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 no. Excuse me. Excuse, I, I saw in the weed report at 3.30. <laughs> yeah. That's quality weed. Yeah, shut the fucking weed report. We got Donald Trump watching our shit. I mean, that's next, yo. Niggas got weed apps. Mm-hmm. Why not? You got the weed report. Shut the weed apps. I was watching the weed report. Sad. The price of dimes in Washington Heights, unacceptable. Trish. Not getting the fat bags. Used to have the ravioli bags on decky. No more. No more. Terrible. Couldn't close them. <laughs> I was about to shut up Smelled the wall. Smelled it through the jar. <laughs> <laughs> Smelled it through the jar. It's lit. <laughs> I'd be on the two train, smelling <laughs> like that Pacquiao. <laughs> <laughs> Uptown, you know what it is. You know how it is. Got that piffy on decky. Oh, on decky. <laughs> Used to get a head from a girl from up the Dykeman. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Yo, that was a Black Rob. Damn, that was a dope album. Mm-hmm. Life story. Stevie J. I was listening to it today. He produced came, that. He produced most of that album. Wow, that shit was fire. Stevie J got hits. Wow. He's a scumbag, but he got hits. Shout out to him. For, uh, can I live? Love that shit with the Can locks? I live? Oof, damn, that Bad, shit was fire. Come on, Faith was singing her ass off on there. Ooh. Listen, Bad Boy. 
Damn, Bad Boy's reign was more impressive than that of the A-A-A. British Empire. A-A-A. And that's what A-A-A. I'm going to throw out there as a fact. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? The British that. Empire didn't have hits. What was the last track uh, Queen Elizabeth jumped on? Nothing. Nothing. Trash. Oh, she got, see, that's what I'm talking about. When you get like too much money and you just yeah. chill, she ain't hungry. She don't want it she no not, more. She, she just sit there with her jewels and shit. Yeah, she's not even on the, not even on the grime wave. You know? You know grime boys, grime boys. <laughs> right, you need to go on Tim West with my show niggas what's up yeah spit, spit, them spit bars. the hard bars <laughs> I heard she got to a beef with the Grime Boys I heard they got they're just doing tracks back and forth and shit on oh, Sky TV oh, and shit oh shit Grime Boys <laughs> fuck the queen fuck the queen Grime Boys in the building she's not my queen she's not teen I eat poutine Give me tuition! Man them, man them! <laughs> yeah, shout out to the Grand Boys. Grand Boys, they're very, they have a huge following <laughs> in, in South London. Yo, shout out to South London. They're having a free Grand Boys concert at the uh, the McDonald's Yo, in Brixton. Shout out to East End Boys and West End Girls. <laughs> West End Girls. <laughs> now, that song sounds like the 80s. Are like, you listening to that shit? <laughs> That sounds like you just like you did the the wildfire coat you got on the the leather the members only jacket. You got your collar flipped up. You just popped in a fresh TDX cassette. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, nigga. Throw the shit in the fucking whip. She ain't my cassette. Damn. There you go. You watching? You watching eight hours on the VCR because you switched it. EP mode. <laughs> Yeah. Was it EP? It was like SP, EP, and ESP Yo, or something. Bro. Listen, life was hard. Life was hard. Kids don't realize how good they have it now. Yo, everything is at your fingertips. Before, niggas had to really struggle to get peanuts. Like, y'all don't even stop and think. How would you navigate the city without Google Maps? <laughs> would half of y'all even have moved here? Or you niggas would be fucked. You'd be fucked. No Uber, no Google Maps. So many robberies. What you gotta do? Print out. Print out. You're going to, I don't know, Babies All Right using a dot matrix printer yeah. from MapQuest. What? Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? We can do register down on the paper. That's what I'm saying. Like I like I can read a map. Like can you niggas read a map? Go back and do shit. Yo, cause when Donald Trump All right, the apocalypse goes you, over. Well, you said you yeah. said that like it's Oregon Trail. Like most people <laughs> can read a map in Miro. I still speak this the hidden language. I'm a code talker. I put my I put my ear to the ground, I can hear the buffalo. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. I hear the G Express coming. <laughs> Yo, yo, y'all niggas better get water and canned food on deck, though. How much water and canned food can you get on deck, though? Like, yeah. if shit goes to shit, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you just prolong it. You gotta inevitable. get aggressive. You gotta get aggressive. If you shit got, goes to shit, you gotta bounce out the country. You gotta aggressive. know from now, you gotta start sizing up your neighbors oh, and yeah. know which ones, like, oh, yeah. you know, there's an old lady in your building and she might be sweet and everything, but, yeah. you know, she got a lot of food in the house. You know what I'm saying? She had a good run. You know what I mean? She lived a long, healthy life. You know I'm, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm just saying listen when push comes to show you don't know she might be at your house with the 4 or 5 when shit comes to yeah. you, you never know? know old ladies are unpredictable also it's the older generation it's Trump's generation they all they put Trump in power as one last like mm. big fuck you to everyone else cause they see last shit hurrah. changing and they don't like it and they're like yo it was like, yo, fuck y'all. We're going out in a blaze of glory. Oh, fuck y'all. Gonna burn this. I kind of respect it. I, yeah, it's I respect like me it. when I would say my thing about um, may the bridges I burn light my path. Yeah. That's what they're you know doing. Because they're about to be in a pine box. Yeah. So Who cares? Like, yo, they fuck care. that. They don't give a fuck. They're like, yo, fuck you niggas, man. Just like, change yo, it. Was fuck you Mexicans. Fuck you gays. Fuck you, fuck you Dominicans. God you Spanish. Damn, fuck all you niggas out here. Y'all. Fuck y'all. Burn it down. Fuck, burn it fuck down. Yeah, fuck all the veterans and shit. Shout out to the cool veterans. Shout out to cool white people. Shout out to cool white people, cool veterans. You know what I'm saying? Cool uh, white people who called their racist Trump supporter and family on the cross. True. You know, made the holidays uncomfortable. Like, yo, why'd you vote for that nigga's a clown? Mm-hmm. Shout out to you. I hope you emailing them every day like, yo, this is your man. Look at your man. Look what you man. Look, look what your man did. Look at your man. Call him up like, dad. Fucking dad. I can't believe you voted for this fucking Fuck asshole. Fucking dick. Fucking asshole. Where's mom? Fuck. My wife is Puerto Rican, dad. You fucking jerk off. Because you. This is why I moved to Christopher Street. <laughs> yeah. That would be a terrible street to live on. It's very loud. A lot of Christopher action. Street? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's mad loud. Yeah, loud. loud. They still, I think they have still the big searchlights there. Floodlights yeah. Yeah, at YPD. Yeah. You already know. Haven't there for years. And they don't got, like, you know, a lot of blocks like that, though, if they have, like, a bit, like residential units, mm-hmm. they'll have, like, yo, please keep it down front. Like, there's not like that. No one respects there. those signs. Yeah, no, Matter that. of fact, those signs make me be louder and shit. <laughs> We are like, please respect the neighbor. I was like, yo, fuck your neighbors. Yo, when I was on 188th, B, like, there was, up the block from me, there was, I don't know what it was, but there was, like, if you honk your horn, it's a $500 fine. Yeah, I see those. 
nose. I'm like, what the no, fuck no, is a force is... in that? Get... Yeah. You see like, 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 yeah. like, yo, fuck out of here. There's a church on White Plains Road, and I want to say 234th, and it has the saddest, most heartbreaking sign on the side door. It's a custom-made like metal sign, and it says, this is a church. Please don't pee here. Oh no! Please I'm don't like, pee. I'm like, that's a, I was like, that's so sad. That's, sad. It's very that's so sad. As I lean against the door and pee. Yeah. Like, go. That's because a nun went over there and kicked a bottle of fucking Poland Spring over that was full you of piss. You know what it is? You gotta they, pee in corners. Got clogs. People don't understand. People gotta pee in corners. You yeah. get a note from a doctor that says you could pee in public and shit, but cops not gonna respect it. So. Really? Yeah. Wow. If you have like a, a bladder condition or some shit. Like, you Cops, gotta pee. But, oh, doctors like you, you gotta go where you gotta go. You gotta go where you gotta go. But because I've lived in New York City so long, I have memorized uh-huh. free bathrooms all over the place. Uh-huh. Comfortable bathrooms, right, not right, nasty right. shit. Not like the Starbucks at that Rest in peace to the old uh, Comp USA on 59th Street, which had the best bathroom. Ooh. They had the candy cap joint with the fucking yeah, huge Yeah, you can stretch out in that yeah. bitch. Ooh. You know, yeah. not too much echo. Yeah. Enough stores that you could just disappear in yeah. there. And no one knows if you, like, dropped the hot one and made it, like, spicy in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know I'm watching because I got the secret bathroom flow at BJ's. Yeah. The oh. BJ's said, fuck it. Yeah. I think it's how you're going to put yeah. your niggas on. I got, listen, uh, all <laughs> up and down Broadway. Yeah. I've got money. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got my comfortable joints. Yeah, see? I might go with, you know, I might go into Bloomingdale's like, yo, you know maybe I mean? I'm looking at these jeans. Maybe I'll drop a deuce. I'm drop a wobble. You don't know. Dumb, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, oh, that's Jesus. So <laughs> it could be either. <laughs> yo, Jesus like, just fucking Jesus just come in here and take a shit? <laughs> maybe I did. Yo. <laughs> you don't know me. Yo, that's that toilet is blessed now. I'll just come out like, yo, welcome. I feel like it's a perfect story for one of us to do. Like, you go take a wild shit somewhere, and he's like, yo, these came in here, Meryl came in and took a wild shit. But you know, the problem is that we turn to like some dumb and dumber shit. Like, we didn't know this is like a sign that says, hey, the water will be turned off from 10 to 6. And I just got the dry fucking turd just <laughs> in the toilet at Macy's Stuck and shit. And shit. <laughs> I just like trying to flush. Like, <laughs> they're like, oh, sir, you, sir, you guys okay sir, in there? Sir, you taking water for the sick with your hands? Like, <laughs> I'm like trying to spit. I'm like, <laughs> you trying to pee on the shit? Like, oh, shit. Like, go down, go I'm down, parched. go down. I'm parched. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, What's right. the most disgusting public bathroom you've ever been in? Oh, easily Grand Central. Grand Central? Oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Port Authority. Hands Port Authority? down, Port Authority. Port Authority. It's up there. Union Station is pretty nasty in D.C. because, like, they got uh, urinals that are, like, covered in plastic, mm-hmm. and they've been uh, covered gross. in plastic forever, and they're like, yo, maybe we'll fix them. Maybe not. Maybe not. Y'all maybe, go use this, and maybe. like, there's, like, toilets that... There was one toilet that's kind of dangling, yeah. and it was, like, not flush it, but it was enough that you could still pee in it. Yeah. And I was about to lose it, and I was like, what if my urine is enough to make it undangle, and uh, all that... Uh, Fucking urine like falls into my ah, sneakers. Like, yes. <laughs> I was like, no, nah. I was like, no, nah, you can go before me, sir. Bro, it's absolutely disgusting. If I will lose, I will throw up on myself if that happens to me. If a bo- if a large bucket of piss fell on me, I would throw up on myself. Is it your piss or it just anyone's? Just piss? like a collect a collection of a piss. Collection? Like my okay. piss won't probably won't make me throw up. Right, right. A bunch of random strangers piss like is definitely gonna piss, throw up. different colors and nah. shit. Some of nah. it is battery acid color, yeah. and some of it is Coca Cola color. Ugh, yeah, Puerto Rico is disgusting. Puerto Rico is disgusting. The fucking bus station at 177th right there that goes over the shit to Jersey yeah. is just is fucking foul. The bathroom, the Metro North bathroom at 125th Street, the uh, dog food bathroom. Uh, 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 yo, because I was there with Tom and like I had to pee and your uh, man was in there and he was taking some lady was like. Sir, you've been in there for 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, man. You just, he came out. He was like, rah, rah. Uh, I just used the red. Like, had the wild Bobby Brown jaw. Like, rah, rah, rah. Oh, Every little crack I'll take. <laughs> the fucking, the uh, Wendy's on Broadway. That used to be, like, the one that's what used to be Atrium. What's Atrium now? Kith? Kith. Yes. Kith, yeah. You know what? We need to get a double-decker bus and take people around to the to, grossest bathrooms? To the grossest bathrooms <laughs> in New York. <laughs> that is our new tour. Yeah. Do I'll you want to go to Magnolia <laughs> Bakery or do you want to go to the dog food McDonald's? Let's go. Delancey, baby. I'm just walking out to you with a big purple umbrella. Like, follow me. Now, if you look over here. I got the backpack with the wall flag and it's sticking yeah. up. I'm like, yo. All right. So over here, you'll see uh, Dauphine, uh, Julio, leaning out, uh, about to shit on himself. Fun fact about this bathroom, it has all of the hepatitis. Oh, nice. That's very rare to find. We call that Amazing. the triple-double. <laughs> okay. Yo, I pissed in the fucking Masker's Orchards, the apple picking place. Yeah. And the bathroom was disgusting because it was like half outhouse type yeah. bathroom, half. But then there's mad people there, mm-hmm. and there, and it was a trough. It wasn't even like urinals. It was just like this bu- this huge trough, and it's just niggas standing there pissing, like of all varieties. And it's like leaning down, so like if you're lo- shorter, you can go to the shorter end. Yeah, yo, yeah. it was just foul. I'm like, yo, if you're a kid, you're going to the shorter end, but if you're an adult, you're going to the higher end. So there's three dudes pissing up here, and it's all just flowing down <laughs> to where your kid is pissing. Like, what if the kid just reaches down and touches like 85 people's piss? Yo, this shit is. Foul. You niggas gotta fix that. 
I'm about to invest. Oh man. <laughs> This is disgusting. Urine. Urine is gross. We, it's even sterile, like, is though. it sterile? Is it's it really? Sterile. Is it really? It's sterile, but I mean, it it's not sterile. Bacteria, so when it comes out, it pushes out all the bacteria. All the bacteria. Oh, okay. Like after sex, like right, right. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yo, Vic, they got facts about that. Yeah, yeah, he's back. You know, he, was, he was slipping for a little yeah, while. Yeah, nigga came back. He's like, yo, I'm dropping you know 50 on you niggas. We, I didn't want to say that, but uh, he got the bright lights of Big City had him under there. Or that fucking chai. What is it? Chai pudding? The chai latte? The chai, chai pudding? Chai, chai pudding? Chai pudding? Chai pudding? You know what I'm saying? Chai he was, chai I, he him, I found him here. He OD'd chai, chai, on, the, chai, chai, on the floor. He was just like, I need to get my life right. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to flaxseed. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to shit that I probably don't would never eat. Shit. Yeah. Nah, Donald Trump doesn't eat well, so why should we? Yeah, he's garbage. He's, and he's well, seventy. He's well done steaks. Dog, what, yo, let me tell you something. I'll eat McDonald's my nigga nowadays, and I'll feel sick. Like after, unless I'm wild high. Mm -hmm. Like if I eat McDonald's, I'll eat. I'll feel like garbage in like two hours. You know what I'm saying? But like, nigga, and I'm thirty something. You are fucking. 70 years old and you're eating straight garbage. Well, you know what it is because you have a wife and she has probably fed you non garbage. So yeah, your body true, yeah. is not okay. activated garbage. Yeah. Unlike my body. <laughs> like, listen, I could, get, I could get my mountain go down through some bullshit. I'll be smacked. I'll go, yeah. I will go to McDonald's like, yo, let me get a McChicken, a McDouble, large fries, two apple pies. Straight sober? Straight sober, my nigga. Damn. Straight sober. Like, oh. and, you know, and they'll be like, you know what? And four four nuggets. Four uh, uh, yeah. The four nuggets will do me. Four in. nuggets like I that. I always do the four nuggets, and they always do me. And in. I will regret that. And then, Damn. yo, the, so the other sometimes I'll be on some fat boy because you know, like I, my yeah. eating habits are weird. Yeah, yeah. People to the say rumor the is I don't eat. I do eat. It's either feast or famine. Yeah, for real. But when I like go in, yeah, nigga. The other day I got two slices of pepperoni pizza, a chopped cheese hero, and a beef patty. <laughs> I just went home and tore that shit down. Like, ah, rah, rah. And I felt yeah. so disgusted afterwards. Yeah. I was just like, <sighs> it's the same. Yeah. It's the same. Yeah. I was like, what am I doing? It's the same feeling of shame after you beat off to subpoena. Yeah. Shit. Like, it's just like, like oh. I, I'm better than that. I didn't yeah. have to do that. I, didn't want to I do walked that. by all the mirrors and then look at, look at myself. I was like, you're garbage. You look, you got fucking sauce in your beard and shit. Like, oh. I got beef patty crumbs on my yo. eyebrow. I'm like, how's that possible? How do I get Nutella on my hoodie? And then the next morning, I'm going to work and I look at my pocket and it's the receipts I'm like oh <laughs> a piece of garbage yo I got frosting on the back of my hoodie don't ask me how <laughs> I had to put me on blast she was like you fucking what is that she's like you have something on the back of your hoodie I was like what she's like is that fucking frosting I was like yo what I took the shit off I was like how to get fucking a cupcake on my back last night at like two in the morning I was fucking <laughs> shmack and I went upstairs to my fridge and I was like I was like damn I want like a Kit Kat or something yeah. and I was like Look and look and look at you know you keep opening your fridge you know ain't shit in it but you just hoping <laughs> I just try to Houdini and shit. Told me, I moved my lactate I forgot we went uh, to that ad agency and there's mad Kit Kats in oh. my fridge. I dropped down to my knees and I started <laughs> crying like Anthony Hamilton. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I found a Kit Kat. I'm going to eat some chocolate. Yeah. Jonathan, yeah, I mean. Had the one tear in my eye. <laughs> it was like Juneteenth in my kitchen. Yeah. Shout out to Chris, yo. That nigga's lace me. Yo. Kick, uh, you know, I'm not even like, uh, I'm not, I, I was about to say I'm not a chocolate guy, but y'all gonna misinterpret that. <laughs> <laughs> Isolate those five seconds of audio and put it on the fucking Jesus Hates Black Women Instagram shit. Sure. No, but that, the Kit Kat did his thing. Yo, shout the, shout yo, the Kit Kat. Shout the Kit give me a break. I'll give you a fucking give me break. A break. Yeah. break me off a fucking piece of yeah. that fucking Kit Kat. Hey, you know bar. what? I'll open the shit and, and say, just take a bite out of it. I'm not even breaking the Don't balls break off. It. No, that's yeah. some broke boy shit. Yeah. That's an omen take one now. It's a little later. That's I'm going to save it. Nah, nigga. Because a lot of people don't realize Kit Kat was invented during the Depression. Uh, so you could break right. it off yeah. and save for later because right. chocolate right. was really expensive. That's right. That's right. I made that, that up. Uh, completely. <laughs> but you know what is actually a wild factoid? Uh, Give us a fact. Fact, no, 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 fact, no,
a bit of a bubble. <laughs> a bit of a bubble. <laughs> and yeah, you know you that the fucking right plan. <laughs> Yo, I saw the three guys. They were on my one trade today. The singing guys. Uh, the doo-wop dudes? Yeah. Uh, and I yeah. would get sad because I was like, damn, that's me, Miro, Victor. Yo, man. <laughs> Yo, and it's wild because like, <laughs> Yo, they got the perfectly rolled over paper bag, Dang. too. It's but, it looks what, like a movie, dog. What was funny, I peeped them when they got on the train because they were arguing about some shit. Yeah. And I was just trying to pull out my phone on the low, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. But then the, the train started running. They was like, boo ba doo da He's like, nigga, you live all told today, nigga. Nigga, I'm baritone. Fuck out of here. Nigga, I'm baritone. Your voice ain't even deep, nigga. Nigga, on one, two, three, and four line, I'm baritone. All right, fuck out of here. Hit your dick, hit your dick, hit your dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My shit's more deeper than yours. My shit's more deeper than yours. My shit's more deeper than yours. How you taking the lead? Ding 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 ding! Hola, llegaron los mariachis. Ta ta ding 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 ding. I think somebody just shut the shit down. Like with yo, the cowboy boots yo, and the fucking that's hat. always funny. But like they both walking at the same time and they have like the fucking bum off. <laughs> and they be like, you be on the train and shit. And they be like, showtime. And the African niggas with the drums are like, no, no my friend. My friend. And they be like, no. My friend. If you say like, what you hear, clap. And they be like, <laughs> if you if you say like what you see, clap. <laughs> we here break. We here break dancing <laughs> to raise money for our school. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. We here to... Fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm just you niggas like... can't even dance. I see you kick a motherfucker in the head last week, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to turn up the music on your phone. It's already on 10. You're like, fuck. fuck yo. Just trying to listen to Haim. Damn. <laughs> yeah. New York City stories. Oh, man. Shut uh. down. Shut down. Yo, let's, let's go to brunch, yo. Yeah. How many avocados? Next time we... Next next time, when's the next time we're in L.A.? April? We'll be there before that. You know what? I said that, but we live a life now that we uh, can don't... Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Yeah, it's true. This is almost in Dubai. We actually were. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, shit is <laughs> moving like fast. Right. Shit is moving fast because nobody was like, yo, what are you doing this weekend? I was like, I, I will know on Friday. Yo, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something right now, so don't be afraid and don't be alarmed. When we finally get to the camel fight in Dubai... And we're throwing gold bars and shit, and like, yo, it was wild. It's mm-hmm. like naked shorties getting pissed on and shit. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely gonna start crying yeah. and turn around and hug you and be like, yo, we made it. Yeah, you know that's cool. I'm just letting you know right now. That's cool. All right. And if I get caught for sex trafficking, <laughs> <laughs> I got the I got the contingency plan. <laughs> he's a great guy. I'm really, this is really he's really being railroaded here. Uh, he's really a really great guy. He's got pure heart. When you talk about a pure, I'm still talking like Donald Trump. When you talk about a pure heart, Jesus is just one of the most purest, hardest. I like to make a statement. That's right. Talk to him. I did that shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. I did all that no, shit. No, no. Everything they said, I'm a real nigga. I was out here wilding. Fuck it. I worked hard. So you know what I'm saying? Yo, if that's real. Said I fucked that panda. I fucked that panda. The sheik said it was cool. <laughs> it was consensual. Yo, that's his life. Yo, the sheik. No further questions. questions. No further questions. Yo, fuck out of here. Day five of Panda Gate. We're outside Red Bull Studio. <laughs> the sound engineers do not want to give a comment. A panda was seen sneaking out the back. Yeah. Yo, passengers aboard a Boston-bound Amtrak train said they were stuck in the Bronx for about five hours without heat. Did you uh, see that this morning? Are you tight? Yo, they left. You're tight. They left a uh, pet station at two forty-five this morning. Mm. They were stuck in the snow or some shit. Or the uh, train just stopped in the Bronx the for five tunnel? hours. Damn. No heat. Trans track is pretty trash, yeah, but no man. heat. Wow. And then in the Bronx, you're trying to get to Boston. Dog. That's the curse of the Patriots. I took an Amtrak to Philly once. Never again. Never again. Why? The f- Wi Fi was sh- awful. Yeah. And it was a wild delay. Like in the middle of the shit. Like, well, I don't even know how long the trip was supposed to be, but it was like delayed by like two hours. There's one bridge. One fucking bridge on the eastern corridor. Mm hmm. It's like a drawbridge that opens up. I think it's in like Trenton. It might, it's not the Trenton Bridge, but it's in Jersey. Right. If that bridge goes up and doesn't come down, we're quiet. fucked. It's all quiet. the trains are like delayed <laughs> for like seven hours and shit. And that shit happens all the time. It's for a fucking barge to come through and shit. Hate Listen, that shit. That's like the bridge of City Island, baby. That shit goes up and you good. Put your car in park. Oh, have you been there recently? They got the new bridge popping. Oh, yeah? The new bridge is nice. Hey. The new bridge is nice, you know what nigga. There's not... There's a temper... <laughs> Excuse me. Let me, let, me, let me rephrase that. Yeah. There's a temporary bridge right now while they're building a new bridge. Okay. But the temporary bridge is much larger. Okay. So come Mother's Day, yeah. might not be no traffic jam. Nice. So all you all you good sons and daughters in the Bronx, you take your mother, 
You know, you buy right. her you buy her the best fashion Nova jeans she can you know get herself into That's that right. are not age appropriate. Not at all. They're wa- they're ninety percent spandex. And you bring her the you bring her the fucking Don Coquille and Ooh. you take a wild photo with her yeah. and be like, Look, look how good my mother is and so niggas like me be like, damn, I start doing the math. I'll be like, damn, your mother's fifteen. She had you when she was fifteen, so technically and then you send a jokey joke like, is your <laughs> yeah. father still in your life? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, my mom said that he was mad funny, but he left. Oh, <laughs> does he oh. remind me of, do I remind you of him? <laughs> Holla at a girl, just Another. get her mother and shit. <laughs> That's right, go on your Instagram and go find find your booze, a picture of your boo with their parent and like that picture. Of, or right underneath, can't wait. <laughs> damn that's what you're gonna look like damn nice uh, where'd you get that damn you meet the mother and like stroking the mother all up, like, Yo, damn that's the wild like naughty america damn. plot yeah <laughs> <laughs> naughty america that's such a wild terrible naughty P&O america got so weird name. this shit like yeah like yo i'm fucking my stepson i'm like, like oh, why okay. did you do that all right mom what, what, you, I, what happens now yeah. Y'all gonna fuck again? Yeah. Is this like a, is this, y'all is this like, once, y'all just it? gonna keep fucking? So, like, might as well just be like, yo, It's not gonna fucking. be hot after a while. It's yeah. gonna be annoying. And then this is like, y'all gonna get slapped before. It was like, oh, oh, this is, this is oh, for so, oh, my God, oh, my God, my stepson. Okay, like, six months in, it's gonna be like, ah, uh, yeah. all right. And then the stepson comes through with, like, a appropriate girl his yeah. age, and now you catch your feelings. Tight, like, and now the the husband's like, what's the matter? She's like, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Exactly. Now, they all yeah, the now it's all fucked up. <laughs> no, there's reality, and then there's Naughty America reality. In reality, like everyone has to get divorced and yeah, shit. Oh, yeah, move out. Terrible. In Naughty America reality, it turns into the wild gangbang. The wild gangbang jacuzzi. Oh my god, I'm gaping. Oh my god. Oh, oh yeah. Spinning my bow. Oh. It's like the father and son, like begging the sister and mother, but like, no, excuse me. How? Or like even worse, it's the ex hamster description. Not sister and mother. <laughs> That's the workaround. That's the allegedly for porn. Yeah. Shut the pino. Nope, dude. Uh, no, I want to fuck this stepbrother. That sounds. Ah, you that's like annoying. What? I mean, yo, I wouldn't let. Yo, listen. First of all, but like, I'm not weird about like my parents seeing me naked because it's like you saw me naked my entire life. They made you nigga. They, exactly. But I'm like, bro, jerking off is like another thing. Like, you, that's very private. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't want any assistance. Like, the whole point of jerking off is that it's just me. The only <laughs> person that can help you jerk off is your wife. Yeah. Right. Straight up. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, come on. And that's even that's kind of like the wild downer. Like, what am I, 12? You gonna give me a handy? <laughs> like, nigga, I bought in. Like, I, yo, can I just <laughs> like, go on record and say I, I think nothing is more offensive than a hand job? Yeah, for I think, real. Like, I think if you are over 30 and you get hand jobs, like, that's give it wild up. Disrespectful. Give it up. That yeah. shit is not good. That shit's not fun. Nah. That shit is like Cleveland. Nah. Do you know? <laughs> Who, y'all like, y'all like Cleveland? Y'all like Cleveland? <laughs> y'all, niggas, y'all like hand jobs? Who says they want a hand job? Like, what? Hand jobs, they're always too rough. It's like, <laughs> yeah, like, what are you doing? Like, that shit gotta be like a prelude to, the, to what we Get to the and telly, it's not like, even. And it's, like, it's just like you'll just stop. Yeah. Just stop. When Go I ahead. get there, we'll give just, me two pumps and I say, "I'll see you, see you when we get there." <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're not gonna. <laughs> we, we don't gotta. We don't gotta do this shit right now in the, in the fucking Ford Taurus I rented from Hertz, <laughs> Orlando Airport. Like this is just weird now. Yeah, in the Ford Taurus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Don't do it. Don't give niggas hand jobs, man. Like come on. that's some high school shit. And like, leave it in high school. How about that? That yeah, hickeys. Yeah. Don't listen. I mean, like, yo, Shorty is like an executive in her company. How she coming through with the wild hickey the wild on the hickey. deck? Like that's disrespectful. You can't do that. She got to throw on the wild, weird scarf, French scarf thing. on there. Yeah, like, now people ask her questions. Jocelyn, it's uh, it's July. Uh, have you ever heard of fashion? Oh, okay, sure. But she's like sweating through meetings and shit. Now. I heard of hickeys too, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh shit! Damn, Jocelyn. Damn, Jocelyn. Why you out here wilding? Why you wilding? <laughs> Jocelyn's happy though. She's like, I don't, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I got that long zip. I got that long zip. She's like, sorry, I'm late. I had a long night. <laughs> yeah. She's not doing me long. Ooh, she's <laughs> shifting <laughs> her chair. Like, oh, like, ow, my back. Oh shit. Shout out to women going to work with uh, Dak related injuries. Dak related injuries, you know what I'm saying? With the wild stiff brat. Like, yo. You know what I'm saying? You just walk in and you catch a quick Dak flashback yeah. and just have to hold yourself against the foul cabinet. Yeah. Like, woo. Oh. Woo. Damn. Lamari put it on me last night. 
Yeah. Oh, okay, but you gotta put tell your girls in the group chat. You can't oh, even tell, shit. You can't even tell, like just bragging Straight and shit. emojis and shit. Your shitty friend is plotting on your man now. Like, damn, oh, I need damn. some of that Dak too. Damn. I, I need long, to take that. Damn, they got my long straw. We got the Dak. She got the nigga store that's, that's fucking just straight eggplant. <laughs> Start liking his tweets and shit. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. Get a little too comfortable. <laughs> yeah, liking him on Instagram and man. shit. You don't see it, but before it's too late. Oh, shit. Let's shoot through. Let's just shoot your shot. Shoot your shot, yo. You know the little, little thing like marriage or kid stop you from being shoot your shot, happy. Man. You know what I'm saying? Shoot your shot, yo. Your soulmate might be married right now. You, know you don't mean? know. You, you just got to know. You got to break, break them apart via Twitter. And just, <laughs> that's the only way you know. <laughs> yo. Listen, like Twitter's it said, so messy. like Jesus said to the disciples on Mount Sinai before mm. he died, if his love is real, he has to handle competition. Oh, that's it, true. Yeah. He said that to Peter. <laughs> You know the tablets like yo, this is the word, my niggas. And then Matthew came through like, hey lover, hey lover, <laughs> this is more than a crush. Shout out, to, yo, Loki, LL been a fuck boy. LL, from, from did LL and Joe ever make a song together? Because I've been like, oh my god, did they? That's like warm, warm <laughs> fucking apocalypse. Because you got Joe right here waiting. Like okay. three hundred, waiting thirty six weeks for you and your girl to have an yeah. argument, and then he'd be like, "Hey, what's up, y'all?" No, <laughs> <laughs> she got enough friends, Joe. <laughs> she don't need no more friends, Joe. <laughs> <Don't> need- <laughs> Fuck out of here. He just opened the window or something. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> things are popping up. ADT, yo, you and your cold warming this shit up. I Joe, get out of here! You start banging pots and you're like, get out of here, Joe! Get out of here! Get out of here. Bad Joe! Like, <laughs> he runs upstairs to show these drawers and runs away and shit. No! Call <laughs> ADC, like, I need Joe protection. Here's <laughs> another nigga shit. Gotta put, like, fucking a layer of salt around the fucking. Flash the, the light and shit. It's <laughs> like, gonna spray him with the water hose. Get out of here, Joe! Get out of here, Joe! Get out of here, Joe! Get out of here! Hit the panic button on your car alarm and shit, like, fuck out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Show the scurries back into the woods. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. leave my happy home leave alone. Get in, Joe. <laughs> Yo, Walk back right? inside. Like, I told you, stop feeding those stop wild fucking Joes. Joe. Fucking wild Joes over oh, there. And oh. by the way, I think there's an Omarion in the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah, hello, man. Ever since I need love, I need love. Yeah. He's been on some like, yeah, I'm a worm. <laughs> I didn't know what that song was I when my sister used to play it, but I was like, damn, this nigga sounds sad as yeah. fuck. <laughs> yo, man. When I'm alone in my room, I'm looking at the wall. Yo, yo, why was his his early that his early flow was like a lot to, to, to take in. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like yo, everything was like, yo, I'm rapping and I'm rapping like this and I'm rap rap rapping like this. Oh, I had <laughs> one of my first I think I, oh it was a college internship. I was applying for a college internship, yeah. and they was like provide a writing sample. No slayers to Ella Jit. I don't want to get. I got like, just some slander to the story because he wrote. A, I forgot it was some album, and I was like, dude, this shit is wild, bland. He's a wild, give it up. It was like probably like two albums. It was I don't know what album it was, but it was well bland. Ella Jit. Yeah. I tore it apart in this article and like this writing sample. Yeah. And I had it actually published on some, like, a, remember they were, like, websites like simplenet.net? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was, like, rapreviews.simplenet.net, yeah, yeah. whatever. So it got a little traction, whatever. I go and turn in this writing sample to this lady, and I look up, and, like, her whole fucking cubicle area is nothing but pictures of LL Cool J. And I'm like, fuck. Ooh, damn. I actually got the position, but I didn't take it. Fuck out of here. Fuck that. I'm not working for someone like who likes LL. <laughs> I, got, I got ethics. Uh. Uncle L. Uh, 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 he uh, uh, Yo, you can actually hear skeeting. that nigga licking his lips on records as well. Yo, it's like big pun, like pun, like pun. You could hear him like inhaling and like exhaling. At one point, you couldn't. Like that in the middle, a little, little. What happened? I, did the studio engineers cut? Because in the yeah. beginning, you could. When he was on loud records, yeah. for real, they for used real, to cut it. They used to edit it yeah. out. But then on the second one, it was like. No, no, no. So was going. I'm like, yo, damn. Who wanna bet with Panda? Mm. I gotta. <laughs> Yo, Pun Forever. This was the recently was the anniversary of Pun. Uh, yes. Pun, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And shout out to Big Pun. Shout, shout out to the Bronx. Shout out to us. Jose, yeah, we always really gotta bring it back around. <laughs> well, you're gonna this and this brother, nigga, so all this ass. podcast is the wild dick flute solo yeah. to us. Yeah. Why not? Because you have to sing your praises Rock while you're here. out here. Because when, when we both die, then we won't be able to celebrate <laughs> Who ourselves. Who gonna cry for us? You know what I'm saying? Hop in the whip and ride for us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if we die, you get illegal burners just buck in the air. You know what I'm saying? Like New Year's Eve. Yeah. Dun, dun. Yo. 
If we both die like in a tragic accident, New York City has to go back to like 1989 for like a month straight. I want people to riot. I want yeah. them to just tear. I want yeah. people to burn the cars. Rob Falaka. Just I want I want the president <laughs> to have to make a statement. <laughs> He goes with our Twitter like, <laughs> "Yo, fuck Chicago, niggas in the Bronx are wild right now." What's going on? We gotta get to it. <laughs> Fordham Road is wild. They said the Bodega Boys brand is strong. They died. <laughs> Yo, if the brand was so strong, why did they die? Tell me that. Sad. <laughs> they turned to the audience like, "Word." <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa he's going too far. Not our president. Not our president." Fuck, 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 fuck. Bro, Papa Dan, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, shit. shit. Fuck y'all niggas, man. It's our death. Then it's like the wild conspiracy. Like, the government had them killed. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. they did it. See, like, they, they really wanted to kill Jesus, but Meryl was just like an innocent victim. There. <laughs> <laughs> Collateral damage? Yeah, there's like, like, yo, yo this nigga talking that military shit. We gotta go get that nigga. Fuck all the black nigga. All the black Twitter turns into like how white Twitter was with Benghazi and shit. <laughs> <laughs> they got hashtag Bodega Boys in the bio and shit. <laughs> Yeah. And why won't why won't Trump investigate this? Huh? Huh? Why won't he check it out? Mm-hmm. It seems fishy to me. Mm-hmm. Let's fuck it up. Fuck. Fuck us some funyuns. Fuck us some funyuns now. Funyun to a Dorito, Dorito to a Frito. Fuck us some funyuns. Fuck us some funyuns now. That was that's our Funyun place ad. We got fifty thousand dollars <laughs> for that. We did it, but yo, you think Funyuns Funyuns got fifty thousand dollars? Yeah, they got fifty k on deck. Yeah, holla, man. It's Frito Lay, man. Niggas got money. Frito-Lay. I know. Frito Lay. I know. Frito Lay, are they Pepsi company? Pepsi Co? Yeah, it's Pepsi yeah. Frito Lay, right? Pepsi Co, Taco Bell, all that shit. Because every time I go to Taco Bell, you got Pepsi on deck. I'm like, yo, can I get a Coke in there? Like, Taco Bell got Mountain they Dew. They roll their eyes and they're like, all we have is Pepsi. <sighs> yo, yo, can I get a Sprite? They're like, we have Sierra, Sierra Miss. Miss. I'm like, I have no fucking Sierra Miss. <laughs> I ain't have to fucking, if I want a fucking Pepsi, I want to have fucking Pepsi, bitch. You better have the same energy I'll pull up to the fucking window in my jet. You know what I'm saying? You're talking to the big blood. All right? Yo, fuck it. All right, when you hear, when you hear, all, when you hear all, all cylinders of my V6 engine pull you know around, vroom, vroom. All right? You know Nigga, I got, I got double cup holders. <laughs> Talk to the big boss. You know what I'm saying? You better not be nervous. All right? <laughs> Yo. I got a rare defroster, ma. You ever seen that? Shut that nigga. Yo, Frito Lay definitely got 50k for niggas on there. They got all these big. We need we need to just get in good mm-hmm. with Joe Cyril's. He cuts yeah. a check. Yeah, if he's giving money to D Ray and Netta, like he gives a check. Hell yeah. Or well, yo, shout out to all my paid protesters out there. Yeah. Cause, Got the up. You know? It was get, like get that song, bro, I was about to see people. I seen all the black Twitter. They were out there. Oh. We getting Soros money. We getting Soros money. Oh, where did you where do you find out? Is that on Craigslist? Do, you, do the paid protesters where they Gotta bust be. you in? Yeah, it's like uh, it says like it has like a winky face. That's wild. It's like extras gig winky face, and then you click on it and it takes you to a hyperlink portal. Yeah, they say Jeff Sessions is gonna make. <laughs> black- <laughs> <laughs> they said Jeff Sessions is gonna make Black Lives Matter a terror. They're gonna designate them a terrorist it. group. You know it, and they're gonna make like hitting a cop. Bro, they're gonna you do a Blue Lives this. Matter shit. You know a this. Blue Lives Matter law that makes hitting a cop like a hate crime. Well, yeah, you. Mm-mm. Yep, you already know. Mm-mm. That makes it kind of cool, though, to be like, because niggas gonna be like, yo, yeah. Black Lives Matter, nigga. Niggas need to reboot the band, blah, you know what I'm saying? Like some wild militant groups. You, you know, know what? That's uh-huh. the thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think, because people's kind of chill right now and the protesting is cool and everything, but really, what really got yeah. niggas shook? The yo, Black Panthers, right? right? So niggas started buying bomb, guns yeah, and shit. Yeah. Niggas start, you know, I'm gonna just start tweeting out how to make bombs and shit. Is that cool? I'll <laughs> 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 be like, yo. Yo, avoid the bookies, beloved. However, if you don't want to, <laughs> bust your fucking gun. bust your fucking guns. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make a nu- artisanal Mason nuclear bomb <laughs> here on American Rebel. Hey, what's up, man? Hey. My name's Jesus Nice. What's up? I'm Mayhem Mero. Yo, we're out here in Williamsburg. That's right. I'm just looking for the most artisanal way to re- bring out the revolution. That's right. We got some really lo- awesome locally sourced mustard gas. That's right. And it's listen. fucking sweet. And I went to the cheese shop and I used some of their filter paper and we made our own. Black powder. Nice. Nice. Fucking sweet. Okay. Look, anarchy. Anarchy. I'm gonna put some IEDs on Bedford Avenue to blow up the capitalist scum. Uh, you're actually just gonna blow up six cardigos, but fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Cardigo. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Cardigo. This shit is fucking terrible. You, you know what? Fuck you, every, before you we was dropping it. You know what? If you remove you owning a car, yeah. it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Yeah, as you a car owner, though, it cuts parking spaces in half Yo. and fucks up the whole block. Because he was like, I, in theory, I should be able to fit here. Fit here but this but fucking no. wing ding parked this shit Mr. Diagonally. Bean's car over there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for fucking Virgil to hop out the shit. 
<laughs> but I mean, that's that's the future. Like in the future, people are not going to own cars. That's well. Owning a car is like a huge responsibility. It is. And then I think maintenance. It's not a good thing. Insurance. It's going to change the game though, because like imagine like. I feel like we're getting to the point. Buses are in the subway are getting almost too expensive for like regular poor people. Yeah, yeah. So then what do you do? And there's not enough bike lanes and like yeah. especially in the Bronx where everyone's broke. Look, so what do you what do you it's do? It's cheaper to be wild illegal with a car than to ride public oh, transit. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell like yeah. you be out here with fucked up tags and fucked up insurance, but who driving. among ye has never driven on a suspended license? Oh, yo, come on. Who among ye has never driven without insurance? Come on. It happens. Bruh. It happens. And the worst that happens is maybe you end up in front of Judge Judy yeah, and you got to come up with a quick story. You know and you, she's like, did you have insurance? He's like, I actually did uh, not know it had lapsed. I had sent the check-in, but uh, because of the Nor'easter, the payment was delayed. Uh, Judge Judy's like, ah, I nigga. actually use insurance, but I got hacked. Yeah. The Podesta emails, my uh, passport was uh, turned off by yeah. the NSA. So. I didn't have two-step notification, so... Also, like... I'm allergic to geckos, so... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't able like, to... like, what use... does this have to do with anything? Let's get out of here! <laughs> My father was a veteran, so I thought the general would give me a discount. But, re- <laughs> <laughs> well, <you> should... <laughs> but Shaquille O'Neal told him no. <laughs> yeah! Yo! Shut up, my son Shaq. This is how he being aggressive. What ad won't Shaq do? Yo, he'll do anything. It's like, and, and not in a bad way. Not in you know a bad saying? way. Like, not in a bad way. Get your money. You know but, what I'm saying? You know, he's also the wild cop supporter. He is right. Yeah, yeah he's like an honorary cop in Arizona, some yeah. shit. In a the Florida worst state to be a cop, so, too. Arizona, Florida. Arizona. And Arizona. <sighs> Arizona. T- and Arizona's terrible, man. Like, like. Do you know why I pulled you over? <sighs> oh, so you have a dirt tail light result? So please get out so I can shoot. It's all for the gates where he's popping and locking while yeah. he's taking your ID. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, he can't shoot, so that's good. Ooh. Oh. That spicy moment was sponsored by Tabasco sauce. Tabasco sauce, adding a little, adding a little flavor to your dinner. Ooh, that's spicy. Ooh, that's spicy. Ooh, ah, ah, pass me some water. So we're at an agency. Someone's like, "Yes, we paid uh, 1.4 uh, mil for that Tabasco yeah, sauce yeah, reference yeah. in the Bodega Boys." Yeah, that was us. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're like, they didn't, they didn't say our name. Yo, you know, it's so ill that that's that happens so much in the corporate world and in entertainment. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I know that you know the story about the dude who became an executive by just like stealing niggas' emails. Yeah. I'm not even gonna put niggas on blast, yeah, but yeah, th- yeah, that yeah. happened. <laughs> I'm like, yo, that's wild. Like, and you get the wild, like million dollar job by being a fucking scumzoid. And he kept it. Listen, you can't. <laughs> the whole thing about having ethics and integrity is it only works if other people do. Yeah, yeah. that's true. If, if you not, play, then, you you just, dirty. then you're just a sucker. Yeah. You're the wild tech. I learned that from the corporate world. Yeah, play dirty. Being honest, being upfront, being the. Re- nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Don't trust any. Don't trust anyone. Does yeah. anyone remember that song? That was from a. Uh, damn. That was True Soldier Records or something? It was like some. Don't trust anyone. Damn, it was like some. It was like a wild. It was. It was a wild, small Brooklyn record label. Right. It's not important. It's not important. <laughs> I think we're gonna YouTube this shit. <laughs> let's go. Let's go back in time. Is how old is this one? It's like 1990s. 1990s. All right. Speaking of 1990s, <laughs> are you about to cry? <laughs> oh shit! Okay, True Criminal Records. Shout out to Crew Criminal Records. It was oh, produced shit. by Buckwild. It was FT, and the name of the song was Street Smarts. Oh shit! Five FT. Yeah. Oh shit. F- FT, no, fuck that, aka full time. Oh shit, fuck that, aka full time. I, I think he went full time if he would have got it signed officially. This is like. Look at this. The, oh, Bubba got joints. Oh, look at this niggas, video. Niggas is like in Times Square and shit. Shoot when, dice? Is that Kick Capri? Yo! I used to Adolescents packing Wesses I was on I the street team For true criminal records Shout out to them I've been on 50,000 street teams but I can't wait till I'm like 90 And I'm doing all the wild Like retrospective, retrospective. <laughs> I got a cigarette like. James Lipton is like So tell me about Weed pasting <laughs> I never did no Faggot shit like that Jay. <laughs> <laughs> well that's extremely problematic In the year no, 3087 it's, it's 3087 When I say that I mean, That means Chinese <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well I got my start down Amazing amazing I was putting up stickers I started <laughs> The first poster I put up was for a little light skinned motherfucker. His name was uh, Chico the Barge. Okay, that's nice. I put it up in front of Club Nova. It's incredible R and B superstar. I was uh, arrested. I was falsely in prison. Uh, my oh. kidneys were beaten about by you, Giuliani. Oh, are you leading right now, sir? 
what I remember most about that poster campaign was that was uh-huh. my first time having my dick sucked by a male in oh, prison. Oh, amazing. That has was nothing, it DMX? That had nothing to do with the story. I just wanted to put that out there. Okay, amazing. In case you're free after the show. Uh, actually, I'm not. That's actually disturbing. Your penis. I, I worked hard on uh, the promotional <laughs> campaign for Total's second album. <laughs> Total had a second album? Uh, uh, please, uh, James Lipton. <laughs> <laughs> Please show Total the reverence that they deserve. They are the prime ministers now to Botswana. I, I respect Pam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about Keisha. Oh, shit. I forgot which one was which. This is dope. I, I, one, one, had married, drugs. one married uh, Omar Epps. Yeah? One of the girls from Total married Omar Epps. If Jaro is here, she wow. would confirm this. Wow, looks like I got the juice like Omar Epps. <laughs> it's, it's true. Omar Epps' wife. That's You have to live your life. So, oh, Keisha. Keisha. Shout out to Keisha. Yeah. Oh, why? Yo. Google was so messy. It just says, Who is Keisha? Who is Keisha? What? Formerly, yeah. Oh, no, but then, oh, it got the wrong Keisha. It's talking about Kesha, but whatever. Uh, Google tries. Google's like, Oh, we can't keep track of all your black shit. Keisha's more important than Kesha. You You can't keep shit of all your black shit. That's true. See, even though people can't keep track of black shit, uh, what was it? Then Green, Green, Green Wall, whatever, Green, Green Wall. Glenn yeah, this morning he was like, "Where did this new co- this new phrase come from?" Got receipts. It's all over the political world. Like everybody was like, "Uh, sir," and he was like, "What's funny about?" Because people was like, "LOL." He was like, "What's funny about this? <laughs> what is funny about this tweet I put?" He got like wild defensive. It's like, "Yo, you old wash you, you dude, fucking wing, nigga." Like that. Like just because you don't know about something doesn't mean someone has to like explain like, it on. to you. Like maybe that's the whole thing. That's why it's cool because wash people like you come don't on. know. Oh, you could look, ask your phone, you fucking wing. People don't know. There's also, there's this sense of entitlement. Like, explain to me. Like, I don't want to do any work. Tell me why y'all use this. Whoa, that was a wild cocky spray, dog. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah! 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 Go get checked out. <laughs> if it burns, go to Dr. If it burns, burns you should learn. <laughs> do, 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 ding, ding. Hi, I'm a little Yachty for uh, STD prevention. I am a little Yachty. That little Uzi shit actually gets me hyped, though. I'm not going to front. Go the, and check it out. You know what I'm saying? How he starts off the verse like, yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, when he first started, Amigos was like, looking what, around like, like what, the, what the fuck is this nigga doing? What is this nigga doing? <laughs> the sound engineer stood up like, yo. Yo. Yo, yo, yo we're speeding. Is this nigga season? Like, Fam, this nigga seizure risen. Yo, we're, we're they're doing that hands like we're speeding. You go, you go, you go, you go. Yachty, we can hear you. You doing the vocal ones? Whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. All right. He like marked it on the track like to delete. And he's like, no, leave that in. No, like, that's nah, it. nah, he's like, like that's that the was, first four bars. That was no. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga was clocking in like a metronome. Like, he's like, yo, you know what? I got a verse, but maybe how can I start it? Yeah. <laughs> Cause you have iconic rap verses. You have like I put my lifeline yeah, in between, between the paper, paper lines. lines. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got all that. Yeah. You got the little Yachty verse. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Uzi too. I thought Uzi. I confuse the two. Listen, he's the new. He's my new. You know how he's my new ticker. You know how I tell them apart. Yachty is the beads. Nope. And Uzi is the other one. Not learning them. No. <laughs> you know it's like it's like when you're dating a woman and you're not taking her serious and she has kids and you're, you're like, yo, I'm not really it. in this. I'm not really trying I don't to know learn. About you. Listen, little nigga, move over on the couch. Yeah, yeah, move. You got the only time you deal with them is like when she's getting ready. Yo, you only got one place to control them, my nigga. Kids like, yo, you dating my mommy? No, no, don't no, talk to me. No, you didn't hear the intro on the podcast. I'm talking yeah. to me in Uber. Who don't talk to me in your mother's you. living room, little nigga? Don't fucking know you. Out of here. Where your daddy at? Let me get that remote. Move. <laughs> Why are you all over? Like, kicking the blocks over and Yo, shit. Yo, go in your room. Why are you mean? Like, get out of here. You want to see mean? Did you ever fuck with a shorty that had kids and feel bad? I felt bad one time because shorty was giving me the wasp top of belly to- What's weird is I mess with women with- <laughs> <laughs> she won- uh, top, of, top of belly. I mess with women with kids early on in the game, like when I was like in yeah, high school and shit, yeah. which is just problematic, but that's the Bronx. So, yeah, that's how it you works. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was kind of off that by then because yeah. yeah. I probably had this- It was like a bash because I'm like, you can't- be working at like Foot Locker or some shit and now like you gotta take a girl to the movies and like she gotta set up like a babysitter and yeah, shit no, like that like, I'm like yo what is this and also uh, Shorty's boyfriend the baby father called me from Rikers and was like I'm gonna kill you Woo! and I was talking wild spicy on the phone I was like nigga, nigga you ain't getting out fuck out of here nigga, who you killing you ain't killing shit you, you kill number time yeah, nigga. you a dick yeah you ah. kill your fucking dick nigga ah. fucking honey bun nigga I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in the crib right now nigga yo, yo matter of fact yo what's your numbers nigga I'm gonna put fucking five dollars on your books right now you fucking clown I'm about to, yo 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 hold the phone to your ear listen to this 
I just tripped your kid. <laughs> <laughs> Do something, nigga. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put some money on your book. I'm gonna give some. I feel benevolent. I'm gonna give you some soups. <laughs> Took a real spicy. She comes the next day like, yo. Apparently getting he's getting out, out. I'm like, oh, I gotta go. Oh shit! Wow, um, I gotta go. I, yeah, yeah, I, had, I, a gotta good, I had a good time. And shit. <laughs> out of the state. No, shorty, I was messing with. She actually moved with her daughter. She went to uh, Virginia, mm-hmm. and she joined, I think, the Navy or some shit like that. She got her life together. Okay. Everyone bounces back from the dating Jesus, all right. So all you ladies out there that's a little like, yo, I don't want to fuck up my credit. Like you be alright, ma. Seven years yeah. later, you got a good story. Your scars are not you. They do not define you. And you'll be good, you know, right? You'll spread those wings and fly again. Okay, talking to them, talking to Mandela shit. But you definitely gonna have to, you're gonna have those three years where it's just dark and you get nothing tastes good and you're not excited and you can trust men. I seen this shit yesterday. On Viceland, shout out to Viceland. Viceland, where we have our show. That's right. Jesus and Mero, Monday <laughs> through Thursday. That's right, Bullbags. People were like, yo, we should do a show on Friday. I'm like, well, they'd have to pay us extra for that. That's so. right. Also, I don't know. Like, four, four episodes a week is enough. Yuck. There's no way we, because if you want the show on Friday, that means you don't want the podcast anymore. True. So, so that's your choice. Yeah, you make the Sophie's decision. Sophie's Choice. Yeah. Does everyone know the movie Sophie's Choice? Yeah, it was, it was like, yeah. Yeah. I oh, wow. You guys are up on your watch movies. Yeah. I got the screener. <laughs> <laughs> I got the screener. I got the screener, nigga. I got the screener. Oh, shit. Katie, sc- Katy Perry is trending, so she either died or said, fuck black people. Yep. She got cornrows. Oh, uh, no. She got a new, uh, sim- she got a new single. Oh, called Chain to the Rhythm Problematic Sounds like some slavery shit yep. So Sarah Poor Katy Perry supports slavery I'm disgusted at her <laughs> I'm calling Sean King right up. now Yo yeah, she's, That's alright If she does the, If it's called like Chain to the Rhythm That's cool mm-hmm. But if she comes out Like this could go very bad If she yeah. does like a video With black women in loincloths And shit dancing And around. they're all a chain and gang dance? And shit yeah. and They're dancing with chains yeah. And shit While picking cotton yeah. Katie don't do it girl Don't do it Don't get the Katie cat Don't get the kitty cats fucked up Yo you know how you f- Avoid all this Don't even do a video With you in it Just do a video That's like some weird Abstract bullshit Or animation Yeah Yeah You know what I'm saying But don't do anime Cause then I'm like Yo you call up thing Call up thing yeah, Anime but not anime, co-opted anime. Well, uh, Scarlett Johansson just is did that? Ghost yeah, in the Ghost Shell. Shell. That's true. Yeah. yeah, come on. Shout out to Scarlett Johansson. I'm a big Ghost in the Shell fan. Everyone saw that. You know, what I'm saying I know, I know a lot of that Ghost in the Shell. Yeah. Six, six, nine. You know, God, I'm, I'm, you know. What, I'm saying, what about Akira? Are they redoing Akira? Akira's cool, but Ghost in the Shell was like, you know, that was like on Toonami and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not even gonna fuck with this movie because it's just like it's ridiculous. They don't have an Asian woman playing like. I mean, they should. The, the major. What? See, what you're doing is like when people <laughs> when people are like, don't put your Nazi. They can talk about she was an android. They go, she was an, she was an Asian android. An uh, Asian, uh, Asian robot? Yeah. <laughs> Not for nothing, because there's an episode. I don't know enough to, to, to speak There's an episode piece. where she's very problematically sleeping in bed with a young child, but like mm. not on. But she people are like, yo, she's an android. That's okay and shit. Right, right. She clearly was an Asian Asian, or Asian descent. Okay. And I'm not saying that in like some swarmy way. Like the shit takes place in Japan. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yes, it's a post apocalyptic Japan. Mm-hmm. It's still Japan. It's all right. Right. Don't stretch the imagination, nigga. <laughs> don't don't Yo. don't tell me that don't tell me Simba was white. So I seen a trailer for a movie where Matt Damon is like <laughs> A samurai, yes. and he's like the, chopping the, dragons the out with a ninja sword like, yes. at the Great Wall. They do the same like, shit with that because they're, they're like, it's fiction because instead of like actual humans invading the wall, they're fighting against aliens. Okay. So they're like, oh, they're fighting against aliens. Of course, Matt Damon could be in this shit. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. what kind of Caucasian gymnastics are y'all niggas doing? <laughs> Why are y'all reaching like this? Yeah. Just be like, yo, we have ran out of shit. Yeah. We have no more good ideas. We and we don't listen. They don't. Ain't nobody paying for an Asian guy. Yeah. The way Asian guy fill in the box office. Jackie Chan, not even, not anymore. Yeah. And even the whole Jackie Chan shit wasn't like he was a good actor because this thing was like jumping He's off. He's jumping fucking and fucking niggas up and shit, and shit yeah. and landing in a bucket stunts. and shit. Yeah. You know, because <laughs> landing in a bucket, he really did. Think Yo. about Rush Hour. Yo. Rush Hour was like, hey, let's entertain like, do you got oh, what's his name? Chris, Chris Tucker, Tucker doing yeah. the, oh, oh, the, oh, oh shit. That shit. Yeah, dancing ah! and shit. Yeah, <laughs> and Jackie Chan over here doing kicks this and shit. This nigga got fucked up. Goddamn. That's not. <laughs> Someone wrote that. <laughs> Goddamn, this nigga got fucked up. Yeah, I wish. I really. Nah, I really hope that nobody wrote that. And it was just like Chris Tucker ad lib. Like you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> there was a script. I'm sure that took, took multiple takes. Yeah. Listen, that's what Drop people want. Jackie, though. People don't want new shit. People want like. They want remake. Like, look at all the remakes. They keep, they keep announcing remakes. Well, well, and it's like, yo, stop. Well, Are y'all that 
Or you guys got nothing? Yo, you niggas gotta have confidence in your ability to tell a story, man, and that your generation is relevant. You niggas are shook, and that's why you want to go back to sixties and seventies and eighties because mm-hmm. you niggas wasn't there. Mm-hmm. Have confidence in yourself, man. Your generation matters. Write some shit from your own voice. You know what I'm saying? Does your generation matter? Do people really want to hear about that shit? I mean, like your own generation will. You know what I'm saying? Like, just don't. That's the thing. You can't write shit worried about what niggas are gonna do, and if you're gonna try to, if you really want to do something that's gonna be groundbreaking and change how people see, see whatever you're doing, be it a movie, a book, whatever, you gotta just do what you do. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because like, the gatekeepers is old as fuck yeah, that's and it. they wanna see themselves represented. Yeah. They don't like all this new shit so they green light old watch Of shit. course. Like if someone came out right now with Archie Bunker, Ooh, that, that shit up. would be are you kidding the number me, one rated are you kidding show in the world and it wouldn't even be on some ironic like, yo, nah. he's a racist. People would be like, yo, he, I fuck that's, with him. That's I fuck, I fuck him. with him. Look at Duck Dynasty, nigga. Yo, Duck Dynasty, I've never seen a single second of that show. I don't even know what channel it's on. The shit I heard was doing like at least 10 million viewers a night or yeah. some shit like that. I never watched 10 it. 10 million. Because I turned to it once and I felt like they were going to come out the TV and lynch me. So I was like, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not giving me a chance love that, that shit, shit, boy. Not doing that shit. Oof. Fuck that. No, but we got our show. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Fight, we got, you know, we got speaking truth of power. Speaking truth of power, making people uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. When someone sends some ricin into the studio, That's it's right. going to be unfortunate. But you know, shout out to the Vice Land Mail Room. I like a G. I'm trying to get this money first, though, yo. Get I this. paid his house get off. Get this money. Did you do your taxes yet? Not yet. Soon. Soon. My mother's in town and shit, and my car is like buried in snow. <laughs> You're like, yes. I can't deal with this shit. I got to do yo. it. We'll take care of that. Set up some shelters and shit in the Cayman Islands. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Respect, respect. Eat out here. Eat, eat, eat. Yeah. Because you know what I'm saying? I'm buying guns. Yeah. Stockpile some ammunition. Mm-hmm. Keeping it all in the back of the KFC in Antigua. Yeah. Because, listen, this cool is, ha- <laughs> this cool is happening, Antigua. niggas. I've been training the wild yeah. dogs. You know what I did? I've been giving each wild dog I come across. I give yeah. him a piece of chicken. And he's giving me his loyalty. He's hobbled on his foot. He's like, yes, to the master. Yes. So yes. I know when the revolution comes, <laughs> don't I got be, the don't, dog. Yeah. I got, for this, listen, how do you take over Caribbean Island? You, take yeah. over, you get the loyalty of the dogs. The, and the ride for you of the bands, <laughs> the sound men them. Yo, and then you go. I have all the speakers in Antigua. Oh, all of them bow all. before me, and they're all on this one truck. Bop bop, da 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 bop bop, ba da ba da, bop bop. Jump on with, bop bop. Then jump on with, bop bop. Jump on with. My Yo. first act as Emperor of Antigua is <laughs> a steel drum tax. <laughs> they're like, oh, yeah. faints. What was the song that you sing? that was uh, playing? Sexo, on? sexo, 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 sexo. sexo. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like doing sex on it. Yo, I have that. I heard that song so many times. Yeah, like I was actually thinking about that this morning. I was like, yo, so it, I heard that song so many times. It got to the point it was annoying, and then it got to the point I got hyped again. Yeah, yeah, sex on. And it turned like a gang shit because it was like the other across the other island. Yeah. They had the other song going. And it was like battling. And I was like, no, we're not losing this yeah. shit. Nigga, I was jumping and waving, yeah. jump and waving, jump on wave, jump on wave. Yeah, out here. Damn, speaking of fucking uh, coups and shit, though, like, I feel like... Speak on it. Like, now my ultimate goal now is, like, really to probably take over a country, but have, like, my kids be, like, like I'm Saddam, mm-hmm. and my kids is, like, Uday and Kude yeah, and shit, yeah, yeah. and, like, the other nigga. They got a disrespect Was it two? How many sons is it? Yeah, he had two? the two sons. Two sons? And remember they had the picture of them both clapped? Clapped, clapped in the both fucking clapped. Daily News? Yeah. Them niggas could have been rappers, Oof. but no. No. Niggas look, like, niggas look like a meatball yeah. shop sandwich. It's really him, because he took the steel rod out of one of their legs. Uh. Yeah. And the legs have a steel rod in mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they went out like G's they're, they're shooting yeah they're busting the guns face shit. listen if the, if, the, if the US government try to get you out the paint the US government gonna get you out the paint oh yeah they're gonna get you mm-hmm. they don't, they're not feeling you but yeah I, I mean I don't know if I can take over the it's pretty big it's too big it might be too big furious Brazilian wife frog marches naked love rival to the streets after catching her in bed with her husband whoa, whoa. Brazil Brazil what's like a Brazilian thing I don't know I don't know Portuguese do Brazil do Brazil Damn, pop pulls out, out. How you get caught? Yeah, you see, you gotta. That's why you gotta fuck with Damn. your socks on. Yeah, nigga. So you wanna be a top? You wanna be a top? That, that guy got mad time in jail. He got mad time in jail. So, I mean, yo, you can't be having women walking naked. Yeah, in the streets, dude, of yo, keep so. your private business private, my nigga. Don't be out here violating, putting women in the street. You know you're gonna go to jail. This like, is, you know, I mean, it happens though. It happens. <laughs> no, not putting women in the streets, but like you get caught out. Love is quarrels. Shit. I remember I once had to hide underneath a girl's bed, and I was just like, this you, is, "You start this, thinking, this you're like, life. wow, what am I doing? Yeah, because he would have fully been. He would have fully been in, in the right rice? to yeah. beat the living shit yeah, out of me, nigga. clap me, whatever. Right. And I was like, was this worth it? It was, but it's with the rush. It was. It was for the rush. rush. Shout out to Poppy. Shout out to Shorty. Also, they broke up like two years later. Anyway, uh, you tight. Because. I fuck with this girl who's pussy so fire. Ah, uh, you tight. 
I fucked this girl's pussy was so fire that uh, I ended up fighting a bunch of dudes mm-hmm. because she would like incite fights with niggas, and she she didn't even fuck nigga. Like I was out here doing me because I was like on some young doing me shit. I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna do me. me. And um, I bagged her with a nigga one time in the car, and I was like, oh, I was like, what's up, bitch? I was like, it was good. I was like, oh, I see you. Uh, uh, whatever. And then she had the she was like, yo, no, I was even fucking this nigga. Uh, uh, whatever. Homie gets out the whip and tries to fight me. I punch him and he jumps in the whip. And tries to pull off. I grab onto the court. Shorty is already gone. Like ran off into her crib. Mm-hmm. I'm fighting with this dude. He pulls off, and I grab onto his car. And this nigga drives me like half a block on on fucking Hoffman right there. And I'm like fucking skidding, fake skidding on the block and shit. And I just fell down and wiped out. And I was like, Why am I doing this? Mm-hmm. I sat on the curb that night, and I was like, I looked up at the streetlight, like on some wild melancholic. Like, like you had the fucking ghost face. <laughs> oh, yo, God yo, is yo. You. And I was just like, Why like, am I doing this? I look up in the sky and ask God, Why? Yeah. After that, I was like, Never again, B. I yo, was like, This will never happen to me ever again. Listen, everybody reaches in every relationship because yeah. everything is finite. Yeah. You reach that point, that breakdown point, and you're just like, No. No, no, I'm done. And then what happens is like you're always like, yo, I'll never get to that point, blah blah. blah. It comes. It's not like you don't you see that shit coming up, but when that shit comes, you know, mm-hmm. and you just like, nope, yeah. I'm off this. Yeah, that's this. It. I'm off this. Yeah, that's it. And many a times, a girl has been doing way too much. She keeps calling, and I'm just like, yeah. nope, we're not. No. It's like when you drop food on the floor, you pick it up, and you're like, I'm gonna still eat this, and then you drop it again. You're like, I'm not gonna eat this. Mm-hmm. Definitely no. not. Drop it twice. No. You're off this. I'm done. I want better for myself. <laughs> Me and my kids gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? Out of here. I want better. Because you have to believe in yourself. You do. You, you know gotta have self esteem for yourself and be like, yo, I deserve I better than this. Yeah, B. I don't deserve this shittiness. Think about I it. I don't deserve someone answering my text 12 hours later. With one word. With one word or, or one, one emoji. emoji. Who does that? Yo. Were you raised by animals? Who with does iPhones? one emoji? I don't ever do. If I'm that's laughing, a, it's like a, minimum two. Yo, uh, I, one emoji is like, yo. I go away. Wanna, yeah, I didn't even want to respond to this. It's like, go away. This. Like, you are bothering me. That's yeah. it. There's no other... Exp- it's not like, yo... Because if you want to text somebody who will send more... Than, that's the one for emoji. Sure. That's it. That's and, like it's not, and it's not even like they search for that emoji. Yeah. It's some shit from like their the frequent recent, shit. Yeah, like, bang here, fuck, hold yeah take that. Take that little slapping joke. Uh, ah, here, here. You don't know if this is like the the nervous or the sigh or whatever. 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 Here's a moon. Go mm-hmm. fucking ponder yeah. that for three that'll hours. Keep, yeah, that'll keep you busy for 12 hours. <laughs> Yeah, no, no one's coming uh, up with that. Shit. And then one day you're just like, "Yo, why am I? Why am I texting this person? You know what I'm saying, what am I doing here? Why am I wasting my time with this? This is a waste of the slot yeah. on my messaging app. Yeah, everything is finite. Yes, and you have to let that person fall to the bottom of your messages. And every now and then you scroll at all your messages and shit, and you're like, "Wow, I have not heard from this person since January." Dog, do you know what's so ill about the iPhone? Your fucking text messages take up so much space if you don't delete them. Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, damn, my shit is kind of, like, my old phone, I was like, damn, my shit is kind of, like, being whack and, like, I can't store shit. Let me look at the fucking breakdown of storage. Mm-hmm. Like, fucking 17 gigs of text bytes, said uh, text messages. Well, I was like, what the fuck? Because uh, by default, it has something like, do not, it never deletes your messages or something. Because uh, everybody wants to be messy and annoying. keep fucking receipts yeah. and have a text message from two years ago. Go up! Fuck out of here. I was a different person then. Yeah. But, yeah, you can set it up to, like, delete that or back it up to your iCloud and other stuff. I hate the iCloud. It's a cool phone. And, uh, yeah, you can't show tr- The iCloud's a Babylon team. Yo, I don't trust it at all. I don't trust it at all. I don't trust That's it That's how all. everyone got caught in the, when the new tech. Yeah. yeah. Do the iCloud chip. Actually, it was through, like, a compromised router, but that's a whole nother story. But, also... Remember the T-Mobile keep- hack? When they hacked sidekicks? No, nah, it was it. No. <laughs> 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 Do you Yo, keep nah, music on your phone? Huh? Do you keep music on your phone? No. I use like uh Oh yeah, Spotify, Spotify and shit. Yeah. yeah, you pay for music. What's wrong? Actually, no, I paid for every every album I have bought this year. Shout out to me. I have you paid, paid for yeah. do iTunes. I respect that. I respect yeah, it. Like, but I don't I don't do that Apple music shit because that's y'all niggas is stupid. Like y'all don't actually physically don't, own your music. I, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't I just don't care though. Like um, there's this stuff that I have physically, I have CDs, I have some vinyls, I have like shit that I'm like I really like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like Trap Cold Quest album shit that like is important to me. But I'm like, bro, do I really want to No, I mean buy you don't even you don't even download? physically own like the MP3s. That's yeah, the whole no, no, thing. So, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, I got I, all my shit. I got all my shit on my SD card. I be on the train listening to my shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm good. My shit though, like if um, Spotify is the shit that you download, you download the shit to so you can listen to it. But so you, you have, have to service. know ahead of time what you want to listen to in order for that to work. I mean, I guess. Yeah. Are see, you, like on my phone, what I just do is like every. I just take. Well, this is on the. But what if you don't have something? What do you, if I don't have what? Like a certain thing, like. You know How saying? am I missing something I don't have? Like, what do you, what do you mean? Like, let's say, like, so you know what streaming services are good for? Like, Spotify, for example, like, 
Bad and Bougie is a fire song. Like, it's out, whatever. The Migos album comes out. This shit is out on Spotify. Mm -hmm. The same immediately. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's out. This, so I don't got to go and, like, find it or go to live mixtapes or it's whatever and that, download the shit difficult. and do oh extra it's not that bullshit. No, this phone right here has something like 5,380 MP3s on it. So then I'll just put it on shuffle. This shit is like a radio station. My iPad has my music on it. See? You can't walk around with your iPad. You know, see, that's a Bronx thing. You <laughs> technology room. Give me consent. The last thing Job died for. He died for yeah. not listening to doctors, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Yo, why the fuck is there a wrestling emoji? This is everything like, emoji. It's like now. two dudes. So you, it was a water polo emoji. You can't really send it to a girl like, yo. I'm trying to swim in that choke. Yeah. And be nasty. Uh, Shout but nasty look at nasty women. The nigga got the swim cap on, but I'm not wearing a swim cap, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. All right, Meryl. Don't put me in risk. All right, Meryl. <laughs> Meryl's a superhero that just runs into your house and like pops a condom before you put it on. Yo, fuck out of here. I got Roman. you, man. Yeah, I got you. Roman. Roman. Every time I come through the window, hit it up, hit it up, Roman. It's like, oh my God, she's trying to make me use a condom. You got to like put the bat signal in this thing. Meryl comes through like. Yo, I'm here to save you from waxed fucking buns. She comes out like, he rides it on a busted condom. Like, <laughs> I slide out the hole in the condom. You know like, ice man rides on ice? You just ride on like a big long ass condom yo, and shit? You just slide out it like. Yo, I'm running on a, on a female condom. Nobody ever used these. You're like, yo. Yo. They, they was giving them shits out at Bronx Community College at the BCC. And they got the shit with the condoms, like the guy condoms. Mm -hmm. And then they got the women's condoms, mm -hmm. the female condoms. Four boxes of female condoms, untouched. Male condoms, gone. All of them. No, we used to uh, I used to work at, what the hell is the name? I forgot the name of the I think it was like Opaline or something. Yeah. And every day we get like a shipment of condoms and a shipment of female condoms. Every now and then people would take some of the female condoms, but they were not how do moving. They, how do they even, how do you use it? You put it in your vagina? You put it, yeah. You put it in. It's like it's like it the like, inside out condom thing. Like, yeah. It looks like a windsock. Yeah, yeah. It's like those little tents that you put on your kid's crib on your shit that like bends and, and you can just turn it and insert it in your vagina like a nuva ring. I don't, I don't know about kids. I don't know what the fuck you're talking like about. Like a nuva ring? <laughs> I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Shout out to nuva rings. I don't have a... Nuva rings are bad or good? Ladies, call us up. Nuva rings are cool, but I mean, people say you can't feel it. Sometimes you come in at the right angle. And you hit a new one? And it's like, yo, swipe your Metro card again. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> definitely bagging into the shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, he knows. Yeah. He knows. So I'd be like, yo, yeah. what's going on? Uh, so swipe again at this. I'm only going to swipe again but so many times at this turnstile if you know what I'm saying. Ring. Yeah. Yo, shout but then out you to can play like games and shit, and like try to get the shoot through it and get, shoot like, in there? get the teddy bear <laughs> from the side and shit. <laughs> well, step one up, step one up. You're the, the big bear. You got the claw and shorty shorts. Like, oh shit, yeah, I'm about to get this oh, mini teddy bear. Oh mm -hmm. shit, it's lit. You know, <laughs> hook it off on your dick. Fake propose to her. Like, yo, <laughs> yo, I want to just go on the record of saying those are the wild scam. Everybody knows that. Every uh, anyway, but. I hate what? those things. The little claw shit that you go. I thought you were talking about Nuva rings. I was like, oh. yo, what the? F oh, no, no, no. I'm not. I was like, yo, the wild the wild against Nuva I was like, this is about They're false. It's fake birth control. It's not real. It doesn't work. You just, and I just use Bonners. You know what I'm saying? Just drink Man Nuvo instead. <laughs> I just use Bonner, Dr. Bonners. So like, right after you nut, you just pour it up in this. She's like, ah, birds. I'm like, it's the peppermint. Yeah, just, dilute. just Just chill right there. Just dilute, dilute, dilute. She's like, did you take Nuva? I'm like, you're not supposed to dilute. You're not supposed to dilute. Gotta, that shit just burns up all the sperm. <laughs> all your vaginal memory. <laughs> <laughs> no. You hear that shit sizzling like <laughs> <laughs> Yo <laughs> No Oh god damn bro That's one What, what? you wanna do <laughs> Do that flip mode squad Yeah flip mode we squad We interesting names of people at the time Flip mode squad I Yo. Like, Yo damn B, So we survived push. another week of a Trump presidency We did Barely Anything else going on By the skin of our teeth We got all star Is all star That's not this weekend uh, Next, next weekend, weekend. Alright Are we there Are we going we don't know yet. We don't. We don't know. We Vice Land has it. <laughs> Vice Land has not bought the private jet yet. True. It's coming up. Yo, I seen this shit where it's like you pay a yearly membership fee and you get a PJ on deck at all times. That's that's way too good to be true. You, that's gotta be that's bullshit. What people wow. use? It, yeah. That's such there's bullshit. a lot of hidden fees, but Jay Z said, "Tell these young artists don't mess with private jets. They will leave you broke." Yeah. Jay Z says that. Yeah. Shit? No. Fuck out of here! I was like, yeah, and I was like, no, nah, like, they got that. And it, they, it works for some people, but what happens is you just end up taking mad Instagram photos, like yo, looking out the window, like yo, about to go to Rhode Island, making a big, pl <laughs> <laughs> making big plans, yo, yo, about to go to Dover, yo, <laughs> next stop. Idaho. Like, after a while, people are just like, yo, not that's even, not your jet. Don't even give you gas like that, nigga. You gotta <laughs> say tri-state, yo. 
Next stop, mm. Waterbury, baby. Yo. CT, here we come. Trenton, what's good? Yo. <laughs> you fly from the fucking Bronx to Queens and shit? Like, yo. <laughs> yo, what's good, baby? Jamaica, here we go. Yo. Queens, though. Queens, you know not how the it, actual Jamaica. You know how it is, nigga. <laughs> International. I'm landing in Forest Hills. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> yo. Got my passport stamped at Ditmas Park. Yo. Slit. You know what I'm saying? Q Talk Gardens it. coming through. Holla. Yo. What's up, comrade? <laughs> talking, talking that Bolshevik talk, Elvin. In Bay Ridge, baby. <laughs> He's like, yeah, how you fucking fly a plane six blocks? <laughs> <laughs> this shit don't even take off, just taxi. All right, let me off here. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> just take a roll. Cut, cut the engines. <laughs> Yeah, I know that was some broke boy shit, like a fake stunt. It's maneuvers. not broke boy shit, but it's like for business people, it makes sense. Right. For niggas that are trying to stunt. For the nigga opening up for Panda at Barclay Center, maybe yeah, not maybe so not. much. Yeah. Maybe maybe don't need that. <laughs> right? I don't know how I feel if I like own a pharmaceutical company and I got on the jet and it's gonna be fucking fucking I don't know DMX's son Ugh. and the why the fuck you lying guy yo, on my private yo, jet. Yo, he's like, yo, what's up, man? Yo, we're just doing an Instagram video. You want to be in it? Why the fuck you <laughs> flying? <laughs> Why the fuck, fuck you flying? I'm like, nah, man. Nah, 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 like, nah, yeah, you, stop, you stop, have, stop. You have one. You, you, everyone gets one. Oh, please. He's like, are you sure? Like, I hope you cashed out sufficiently. Oh How much my is, God. Uh, Why no, the fuck uh, okay. you flying? Okay, okay, like, okay, no, okay, nigga. Okay, like, please stop. You can't. That's not even your song. How much is tells? How much is tell told before? Next is... RL was the captain. Like <laughs> he's gonna crash this bitch. Yo, that was the wildest shit ever, bro. How wild is our life that we we know both the guy that does that did the what? We went to his house, interviewed him, and we also know RL from. And then they had RL come in with the dude. Yeah, that was the most bizarre was, fucking shit. <laughs> Listen, it was it was it was oh, it was man. things were di- <laughs> things were different way back in 2016. <laughs> Yeah, Yo, life is oh like, my you know, God. life is different. Damn, but, you man. know, we out here, we prospering. Yeah. We got the show. Yeah, big things are going on. Yeah. Look for us. We got some NBA promos coming in the deck. I think oh, maybe sure, no, sure. maybe yeah. we don't. I don't know. Yeah, um, we got all types. Like we have projects. Like, you know, what? we find out about our project, our projects from the same way y'all do now at this point. Sure we're like Donald so Trump. I, I was actually surprised about the Guardian interview. Yeah, I was like, so. oh, sure, these niggas on Twitter. That. So you know, this is Young Chipotle. You know what I'm saying. Give me and Kid Miro yeah. out here, always at 220 West 18th Street. Bye, bye, bye. Shout out to Red Bull. Crystal clear clarity. Crystal clear. We gave y'all the art. This is the straight, uncut art. Yeah. That shit'll make your mom's nod out. Yeah. While she making some for to- to- and you know shit. What I'm saying? And you being like, mommy, mommy, wake up, wake up. And she's like, no, like, she, she got foam on her mouth. She's like, yo. No, leave me alone. Your brand's too strong. Oh, no, oh. man, no. My mother, she was a good Christian, but. No, no, no nothing made me. The brand was too strong. Man, the brand is so strong, puppy. <laughs> They got me leaning. Yo, shout out to Mix Pack, yo. They said that she could handle her high, but... No, nah, bro, that shit got me fun, It bro. was the little dope feed bags and it had the little art emoji. Yo. Oh, shit is art emo- t- well, uh, oh, Excuse me. Where exactly did your mother buy this dope? Oh. I would like to uh, avoid it. Right there, Southern Boulevard. Right okay. there, Okay, I'm gonna dope. go now. Uh, uh, tell your father my condolences. Uh, oh, I left some cans if he wants to turn oh, them in. Oh, um, let's go, I like it. Thank yeah. you, Bumpy. By the way, uh, someone stole your battery. Also, by what? the way, would you like to buy a battery? Yeah, they stole my battery. Let me down. Then can I see that one that you got right I, there. You drive a Scion. I couldn't find what the battery was. That so looked like mine. Like that looked like mine's battery. Shit. Yeah. That look, that's mine. I sell it back for five. No, fuck out of here. That's mine's battery. No, Yo, get out of here. Out. Yo. I killed you, Jose. Yo, fuck. I'm going to fall down. I'm tired. Oh, Bum no. for us, <laughs> You know, you got a new ball? No, no, no. I, got a, I, got a, I found some polymers, but I'm not that, I'm not like that broke. <laughs> <laughs> not speaking of polymers. Yeah. Parliament, parliaments are racist. Are they? Nothing makes me sadder than like black people who smoke non Newports. Yeah. As a black person, you should be smoking a Newport. If you are going to smoke, that's let's true. just keep it 100. Yeah, that's true. Anything else, you're being weird or you were yeah. raised by white people. Yeah. You know what I'm or saying? Like if you smoke some weird variety of menthol, I'm like, why? Like, why yeah. do you just smoke a Newport? I respect also black people that roll their own cot, they roll their own cigarettes. Yes, yeah. That's a little extra. That's very extra. If you, but I mean, imagine you do that and you just look a white person in the eye like, yeah, you're not getting none of this payment. I wish I was in Dixie. No. No. Also, they're called American Spirit and they have like an Indian yeah. on there, a Native American. Yeah, they're American. Very problematic. Mm-hmm. If you're buying your tobacco for a pound for six dollars at Dwayne Reed, I want you to re-examine your life. <laughs> Maybe this, why this you whole... buy tobacco for a pound? That's some wild hipster shit. It's funny because like the last people I've seen rolling their own bogies 
was like Williamsburg niggas, mm-hmm. and then like when I was back in the yard, like niggas rolling yeah. buggies. But I mean, people in Williamsburg make their own bacon and shit. Like when you go, to, I went to brunch at Williamsburg, and a side of bacon is like thirteen dollars. Why y'all living in the past? And I'm man? like, why? They're like, yo, I killed this pig myself. Why? And I'm like, what? And they're like, this was, this was Betsy. Yo, I raised her on Greenport Avenue. I had to kill her for this plate. And I'm like, like uh, uh, you know, I actually don't want bacon. Take this back, nigga. You could have <laughs> just went to the restaurant supply place. No. Then, like the whole staff is like crying <laughs> while they watch you eat. Is she delicious? You monster! I'm so like succulent. Why would you open a restaurant if you don't want to kill your kill pig? Yeah. I had re- I had rent. <laughs> I bought an art space, and they said I couldn't live there. Me and my six roommates. My wife sleeps in the slop sink. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Damn, B. Yeah, nah. Yo, yo, why, 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 why y'all trying to go back in the past, B? Like, yeah, don't like, go back they, and you know what, pickle they, your own they shit. They missed that because it's like, I guess we were doing the shit back then. And they yeah. missed out on the experience. Oh, you did? You think your grandfather, your great-great-grandfather was cutting his own meat? No. Like, hey, fuck out of here. All right? He was, uh, he was in the rocking chair at Cracker Barrel. Like, they were like, we want some bacon. And they started beating some black person and <laughs> went and got bacon. Yo. I have no idea if that's historically correct. I mean, it might be. You know. Bitch, it might be. That's just the case. <laughs> but you know what is historically correct? This is yeah. episode 55. Yeah! The double nickel. Double nickel. Remember when Jordan dropped the double nickel on Something the Knicks? Double Hmm? Do you remember that, huh? Yeah, it was terrible. Fuck around here. Hmm? But hmm? you know who dropped 62? Mello the God. Mello the God. Mello the God. Okay. Uh, it was March 18, 1995. Michael Cheese Eyes McGee Jordan, yeah. no doubt drunk after gambling, yep. dropped 55 points on the Knicks. This is 20 <laughs> years ago. 10 days later, he scored 55 points. In Master Gorgon again, wearing the 45. I don't even you know Why are you such an asshole? I don't even care. You know what's crazy? A fucking Isaiah Thomas had a 50 point game. Who cares? You drop a 50. James Harden does a 50 point game every two, every two days. Fuck out of here, nigga. You're not the GOAT. <laughs> <laughs> Talking like a true Nick fan. You know That's what I'm right. Saying? Fuck out of here. Who do you think is the best uh, basketball Kevin, player? KD's over here putting up 50. Light with Steph Curry on his team, to getting thirty touches. But Fuck Michael, out of here. but you know Michael Jordan was playing that, and he wasn't even. He either was like thinking about the money he lost gambling like before, <laughs> or the money he was about to lose gambling. His head was not in that game. That's why Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time. Yeah, because he got over a debilitating gambling <laughs> addiction. You think he's doing up those shots? He's like, damn, I got a crossover with Patrick. He's like, yo, I'm gonna double down on black so hard after this. Damn. Michael Jordan was what J.R. Smith is. Damn, I got my pops smirked. He, Damn. Yeah. Damn, yeah. to get back. Yeah. Remember the Guardian? It was like, you guys don't see problematic things anymore. Well, yeah. Shout out to Miro. Shout yeah. out to Miro. We out here. Michael Jordan, please. You know what, what makes me mad? Because every time you say shit like that, I know one day I'm going to meet Michael Jordan. He's going to be like, yo, you're the, big Ni- you're the Nike head. You got all the Jordans. Yeah. I'm going to send you a pack, my nigga. I'm going to send you a pack. And that's going to send me straight jump, man. They're going to send me straight. Jump you man. working on the roof with the fucking G's with the <laughs> hammer loop. Niggas going to send you the I mean, what is this? Is it Team Jordan? What are these? Are these the Jordan XX9s? Yeah. I can't wear these. Yeah. You gonna send me the Jordans with his face on the side? Like, yeah. I'm like, ow. No, I don't want these. Are these the memes 11? Get the fuck out of here. I can't wear these niggas that roast me. <laughs> He'd be like, should've bet, should've bet on black. Motherfucker. <laughs> who cheese I'm McGee's now? Yeah, nigga. I got my who merch? Huh? What? Fuck yeah, fuck clown. you. Michael Blackson, take me to my next destination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, uh, but. Oh. In more serious news. Damn, it was wild, right? You were right, you guys are right over there. <laughs> like a crypto with the one funny burp. Seriously. At least it wasn't on the mic, though. You know what I'm saying? Niggas are growing. That's right. professional. We turn away from the mic. We turn away from the mic. We move in. Because right. we're professionals out here. Right. Bodega Boys, the most dangerous podcast. That's right. Add to the Octagon and Red Bull Studio. Because right. why? You're wrestling with your boys. Oh. The, bo- bo- the Bodega Boys are back in town. The Bodega Boys are back in town. your boy, Deezus Nice, aka Deezus Vice, aka Ren Chipotle. Pox State Fat Lateral. Chris Stapp Porter Slingley. Eli Goodby. Damn. Boots 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 Gully. Little bit I might know you, but Young Day Party. Young Hot Take. DJ H. Fuego. Mr. Nando's with a Rando. Middle of the day. Mikhail going off. The Juve Boys. MC the Google Google people. Yeah. Went up from 40 with your shorty, aka, and don't talk to me in the open pool. I don't know you. I don't know you. Does Lyft have a pool? Yeah. Um, I don't think so. Do I don't it? know. We'll find out, I guess. <laughs> the original episode. What? They have a line. Yeah, boo. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> The original one plus one got a plus one, so don't make a fuss. Don't you dare. And if I have a plus one, my plus one has a plus one, and my plus one brings a plus one, just let us all squat through. Don't make it difficult. Don't make it weird. Don't get stomped out. Come on. I'm just going to put this on Instagram. It's it's a good look for you. It's a good look for you. It's a good look for you. Like, we'll take a picture with you. Come on. We'll read your stock. Come on. I'm verified. Come on, man. (laughs) Change your life. Change your strife. (laughs) Jesus Ross team, the Jamaican Jew. A man, again, again, Uh, I would like to. We can't let this family move into Jersey. uh, I. There's a lot of the children. Fuck out of here. He's Dominican. Um, <laughs> I, I, I called this emergency meeting at a six o'clock on a Tuesday. Hey, listen, I love the Martinez family, but. <laughs> Papi, I'm here. Oh, God, it's him. 
Jermaine. <laughs> Shout out to Jermaine Avocado Toast. Yeah. Young Pa, the ghost of Mufasa. Yeah. What Disney's head is frozen is in Orlando. Young Chakunari without the Kunari, AK to the Mon, left handed reliever for the Yankees, Kalo Gay, okay. Vice Gay Makuzaka, Tufo Jones, Isaac Makana, Jim yeah. Chuckles, which people don't know, used to be a, snow, a shoe store on 42nd Street. Oh. oh yeah, that's his reference. Shout oh. out to Old New York. Stanley Cups, right. the human Dr. Bonner is Grrr, Babel, Dilu, Dalu, Dalu, Dino the Trapio, Mr. 240p, because I like my Pinot Blurry. Yeah. And or I'm in a hotel with slow Wi Fi and I really yeah. want to jerk off and I can't watch the 720p, yeah. so I have to downgrade it. But you know what? Okay. It'll get me through the night. Still get it in. You know what I'm saying? DJ will like AK. You're listening to Watch That Fam. I just played eight hours in a row of Jaheem, and I'm gonna play just in case, just in in case you missed out for all my DMV workers. The Curry Goats. Yeah. Sadly, I'm more bone than meat, but you know what you're going to do. Hey. Jesus Spicer, Jamal Hashburn, the black Asiatic who cracked your back like an automatic craft matic, a.k.a. Mr. Lavender and Mess Marino, with a fresh misdemeanor and a cold demeanor, a.k.a. problematic beat. And now, coming to the stage. That's right. It's the Dominican Don Dada. That's the right. Oh, oh my God, I take my shirt off. It's a human direct vibe. You know what I'm saying? Curve got it. Tris Khalifa. You know what I'm saying? Skirt loader. You know what I'm saying? I know fucking baby, my nigga. I fucking mean. You know what I'm saying? Look at my dad. The dad of the year, you know what I'm saying? Bitch smack me, Yumbo. Feel the ass Tyson. The Dominican da da That's right, like he said it. Ben Boston with the precision of a Swiss wristwatch. I'll open a cockroach and reposition it to be a goat. That makes no sense, but holla at your boy. I'll open your fucking medicine cabinet and eat all the benzos because I'm the Zen man. Oh, 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 oh. I'll eat a whole pizza slice. <laughs> what? A bucket. It's because I'm also baby new Ponino Brown East Street, my Stevie B, because I'm slick like that. The plants ain't supernova in the sky. Free oak coming directly from your boy, Barmelo Anthony. <laughs> and like I said before, if you see me at Target, if you see me at BJ's, dog, if you see me at fucking Foot Locker, dog, respect my fucking agency, nigga. Respect me like the angel of death, Ray J. You know what I'm saying? Or like an Ursa mammal, un oso. Si te olvidate, papi. You know what I'm saying? El hijo de Tito y FIFA llegó bajando caro, loco. Más frío que que malito. Mama me lo por detrás. Episode 55, nigga, we out here holla. What, what does that mean? Suck my dick from the bleh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was waiting for subtitles to pop up, but subtitles will pop up in real life, and I was waiting. It's <laughs> <laughs> got the numerous button. Latinos in the studio to translate for holla. me. But you guys want to have your little secret coded language. That's why they're trying to yeah. build a wall. See? Don't build it. Don't build it. And shout out to Mix Pack. Shout out to Mix Pack. For no reason, just because. Just throw them out there. Gang, gang. Have a good weekend, y'all. Yeah. Avoid the bookings. Do that. Go check out that James Boy when I'm not your Negro movie. It's some, very good. some powerful shit. It's when you come out, you shake a white person, you go, I'm not your Negro. Listen. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? White people go watch that movie. Watch and, that. and don't and then go and then go Google any questions. It's the you new have. moonlight. You watch it and then you ask other people if they've seen it. Mm-hmm. Listen, we're trying to keep you on the cusp here. You don't be like late. You it's a badge of woke. honor. It's a badge of honor. I got the screener. Be a good ally. Holla. Anyway, we out. Until yeah. next week. It's your boys. We in the building. Catch Holla. us on Vice that we out. Holla.